you are on the objective, no questions, no measuring, no arguing, just I'm on it or I'm not on it. Yeah, absolutely. Next up, let's talk about Big Bear 3D. Big Bear 3D is responsible for the train that we're playing on today. They've got wonderfully aesthetic sets. They come 3D printed so you can paint them yourself as your own hobby project or get them commission painted. They're designed to simulate different tournament formats for some of the big events in the United States. For example, you can get a Richard Siegler table that's going to look a lot like the, uh, the Nova Open. Or you can get other train sets that are designed to mimic WTC, Pro Tabletop, the last LVO, whatever you want to help get ready for big events. For sure. Finally, we have Obey Alliance. They are an esports team that's trying to test the viability of 40k as a streamable esport. They're doing that through us. So the more you like, share, subscribe, mm -hmm. comment, just use all those fun buzzwords to our channel, support us in any way you can, the more you're actually supporting your hobby grow. Because once Obey Alliance likes us, we get big boy sponsors like Coca-Cola, <laughs> Gatorade, etc. And then we can do really great things in the future. So help us help you. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, uh, let's dive into this. We're playing Mission 32, Search and Destroy. No. Sweep no? And clear. Sweep and clear. Gosh got darn em. it. Nick's got me there. All right. But we are playing Sweep and Clear Mission 32. And I'm excited for it. Let's uh, go ahead and switch to that overhead. And then we can show off our deployments. Definitely. So I got, it's, it's obviously this quarter's deployment. So John's over on his corner. I'm in mine. Um, we'll go through the Tyranids first. All right, so first up here, we've got my mix of High Fleet Kraken and High Fleet Kronos. So with High Fleet Kraken, we've got this unit of Hormagaunts right up front, as well as the Swarm Lord, a Demacaron, and a mix of Gaunts. We've got 10 Termagaunts back here, 10 Termagaunts up front, 5 Zoanthropes, and a Neurothrope. Then for High Fleet Kronos, these nice purple Gaunts, we've got 10 Hormagaunts right up front. I'm hoping to use their uh, stratagem to mess with uh, Nick's psychic shenanigans. Oh, no. Then we've got an Exocrine here, and a Hive Tyrant, and six Hive Guard. In reserves, I do have another Exocrine, as well as two units of Rippers and a Lictor. So for me over here, I've got a lot of Eldar stuff kind of uh, just scattered about my deployment. We got five Dire Avengers hanging out behind this cargo container. Moving over, we got three Jet Bikes, just small MSC skirmishing units. A trio of characters, two Farseers and my Spirits here, along with enormous 600 point Seer Council. Gotta have one of those. Then we have another three man jet bike squad, along with three units of Dire Avengers, all hanging out behind this ruin, ready to explode out, along with two Vipers. Finally, we got a unit of five Dire Avengers, ready to, to just come out on a flank. And then over here, we got um, two Wraith Seers and five Avengers as well, ready to hide out behind that building. Finally, we have. Um, Two Warwalkers in reserve, just hanging out. They have normal uh, flank as one of their special rules, so they're not doing strategic reserves or anything or deep striking. They are walking on the board edges like the field fascists. All right, I think that should just about do it. You ready to roll, Mr. Lennon? Absolutely. I'm super excited to get my bugs back on the table. Let's uh, see a handshake. All right. Good luck, Good Nick. Luck. Let's get the exterminator. It's a six. We're going to go first. We're going to go strong. We're going to get the can of bug spray. All right. Big numbers. Big dice, big, dice, big, big numbers. numbers. Let's do All it. Right. So I have nine CP, but I'm going to spend some right now to phantasm. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Phantasm. I got to. So this lets me redeploy three units in my army for two command points, still in mm -hmm. my deployment zone. But this is after I know I'm going first or not. So now I know I'm going first. I can get as aggressive as I want here with no threat of retaliation on the first turn. I could even do it twice for two command points. That's always a beautiful option. I'm definitely going to use it on some stuff. We'll see. I want to get rid of these guards. They're uh, they're really problematic, especially if I kill them early. Then I can probably do it without taking too much retaliation damage. Ha! Ah, that's what Nick thinks. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the Doom... Executioner Seer, which is this one right here. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, while Nick's thinking about that, we have a $3 super chat from Clown Mode saying, Let's go, Eldar. This is his sub match. He's excited for the Eldar. Can the Seer Council take this game? Okay, Thank you so much, Clown Mode. All right. So it looks like you're bringing out uh, one of these uh, small jet bike units as well as a Farseer. Small jet bike units, Farseer. And I think that that might do. I could. I have one more unit, so I'm going to probably use it for something. Um. But really, I'm not going for anything crazy here. I'm just going for disrupting these gaunts um, as much as I can. Let's see. I think this Star Avenger squad's not doing anything at all. So we'll put it over here and help overload this flank. All right. Very nice. Okay. All right. And I'm ready to 
Ready to roll? Off to turn one. I'm going to go up to eight command points. All right, this is super interesting here. Obviously, Nick gets to phantasm into position to try to hit me a little bit harder. As well, that does mean his reserves are going to come in before mine. So we're going to bring in three jet bikes. Ooh. And we're going to tag the room here. We're not advancing. We're just moving 16. Got to love those more shallow deployments of the, uh, the sneaker clears. And we're going to try to blow up some wonder dogs because I don't want John messing with my powers. Aww. I wanted to mess with your powers. Let's go for some doom action. Now he could always block doom and make doom go off on one of these bits, but I'm doom and horror dogs in any case. <laughs> He's good. You ready for that? Do you have a lictor in the army? I do have a lictor in the army. Uh oh. Shuriken, so I have a beautiful 22 inch range, so I'm gonna have absolutely no problem shooting it. To Ooh, awesome! Guys. All right, so bringing out the Dire Avengers, they're gonna get some, uh, they're gonna get to do some damage potentially into these poor, poor former gods. Well, we're just trying to uh, cut the angles here and basically make it so that um, Doug's gonna have a little bit of a harder time shooting back at them. He's probably not gonna do anything, but we can help. Mm -hmm. Still, making me put extra effort in is not something I want to do. Nope. We are going to chill out with the Wraith Seers. I believe they're out of 36 the Hive Guard. John was super defensive of, of, with them. So if he wants to move the Hive Guard to the side a little bit to uh, shield me, I'm just going to block that out and then get the Wraith Seer out. Like if I have my D-Cannon, I can just take off. Might feel like a little bit of a waste of effort, but I don't need to go super big this turn. Okay. Seven inches, one mix. That is just enough. Ooh, just gonna make it onto that objective. Very nice. All right. So we'll go with him. And the other unit, hopefully they mm -hmm. go a little bit better. Ooh, beautiful warp by. So they're also gonna get onto the objective. So we need two units on this objective, which is mm -hmm. pretty pretty strong. Yep. Powerful. That's gonna be hard for me to try to shift all of that off on my turn one. Especially when I add a wiper to the mix. Where are you? You need a full See if this viper can contribute. Looks like I do have an angle into some zone throw, but I do have rollers, so I think that's probably going to be a place where both the vipers head. This one's not going to quite make the objective, but two shots and some zone throws never hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. um, so all these dire avengers definitely want to get involved, and I do have to be cognizant of the fact that there's an exit can come in, and it can't come in off of my long void action. So I don't have to screen any of this out for a while. The most strong could do is like that. Mm -hmm. so, and that's mainly why I wanted it. I think these bikes will just get themselves involved for some future plays. Yep. We got some rudimentary Telestrator going on right here. We got the bikes coming up, um, ready to shoot at those gaunts. We got the Dire Avengers moving on to the objectives, Vipers flying up. Oh boy. And uh, I am going to do my best to keep track of the movement phases. All right. Mr. Seeds, Ren Technology, what a robot. <laughs> Who'd have thought? More Dire Avengers join, join the Dire Avenger party over Mm -hmm. I don't love the Dire Avenger party. It's a big Dire Avenger party. Still using the Ruin out proper here with the Black Line Cycling. Big old scary Exocrine man. What? Okay. Makes you think you would do anything. Get some more Avengers up involved. 11 inches here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Hiding out behind the run. How do you just keep throwing bodies onto objectives for domination and for my direct assault? Mm -hmm. Okay. The squad's going to just hang out because I think it's a pretty good screen for now. No, I'm on. Your batteries are good. I don't know. I can speak up. Yeah. All right. I'll move the mic closer to my face. Let me know yeah. if that does yeah, that helps. Yeah. Let's move the council. Ooh, I'm curious to see how much this uh, council wants to be active in the game, or if it's just going to sit back as a nice support piece. Well, right now it's pretty, pretty in the corner. So we're going to get at least out of the corner, ready to counter strike. <laughs> out of the corner. Points. Nick, who are you? I know. I don't know. Somebody else. This isn't this isn't you. But you know, it's it's a new day and age. I'm playing Death Guard. My Death Guard played in the corner. Now I'm playing Eldar. They move faster. Let's get out mm -hmm. of the corner. 
Really trying to, I'm out of range of the hive guard. I'm not letting the x screen get any angles to me. I don't want him blasting me. Um, and of course, the Dima Karen could come in and try to beat me up. But that's going to happen pretty much no matter what against Tyrants. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cast pr uh, Protect myself and hope that does it. Yeah, having a good save always helps here. Make sure I'm out of 24 inches of those Hormigons when I go to cast stuff. And back here, we'll do the little Farseer and Spirit Seer combo wombo. Ready to cast forward. Okay. All right, let's do some psychic phase shenanigans. You wouldn't dare. I would dare. I do. I do indeed. All right, what do you got? That's a great question. I think we're going to start off. Actually, we'll advance it a little bit better. Roll it. Okay, plenty. <laughs> um, He's going to start off by casting Focus Will onto the Seer Council. Ooh. That's going to give him plus two to cast. And it does pass on a seven. Very nice. Now my Council with plus two to cast is going to protect itself. Which passes because that plus two, five goes to a seven. Beautiful. Okay. Then it's going to decide if it wants to quicken anybody. Um, it's pretty content with the positioning of everything, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um... I think we're good on the quicken. Okay. So then, doesn't want to smite or jinx or any of that jazz. It's, it's good. Okay, so then we're going to guide. Uh, oh, guide's on that guy. He's got to come forward. Oopsies. <laughs> we're going to make a hole for him so he's not on yep. the edge. And we're good. Sorry about that, everybody. He's buried. Uh, we're going to guide those three jet bikes. And those three jet bikes are guided on Nate. We're going to fortune the... I don't want the x to just pick up the Avengers here, but I think that's what's going to happen. It's not um, unlikely. In which case, there's not much I can do about that. So we will fortune the three bikes here just to make Ooh. them last a little bit longer. Reroll that with runes, thankfully. It still fails on a five, but fortunately I don't think... I'll take good. that. Yeah. The uh, Farseer back here is in Kronos right into the Hormigons. He's going to try to doom you. Would you like to do anything? Ooh. So right now, only those uh, those three uh, jet bikes can really shoot me, but I think that you might be able to get, like, uh, maybe the, the decans as well. Yeah. So I, I don't know if I'm just realistically going to be safe either way. So I think we're just going to let it happen. I'll save my command points. If I lose 10 Gons, it's not the end of the world. Doom goes off on a 7. Very and nice. I'm a happy camper. Okay. All right, looks like we're ready to roll off into some shooting. Pretty uneventful psychic phase, but honestly, I'm going for low-hanging fruit here. Okay. We'll start off with one D cannon into the Hormigons. Ooh. We'll fire three shots. We got Isn't three it... hits. It's a blast. Yeah, but don't you go on a roll to see if you get higher than three? It's D3 shots. Oh, it's D3. Oh, okay. That's cool. Three hits okay, and D6. free doom. Three guys are going to go down. That's true. All right, so three dead Hormigons so far. So that makes me feel really good about the math on the jet bikes finishing the Hormigons mm -hmm. because they are AP1 for my uh, Hail of Doom. Ooh, very nice. So threes to hit with Guide. Good thing I guided them. Ten hits, and then threes to wound with yep, Doom. Only need to kill seven more here. Everything is AP1, and that's already seven. All right, that finishes off the Gaunt Squad. All right, so that'll be one thin the rank down. And I got you, John. Oh, thank you. No problemo. All right, and there's still another D cannon. There's another D cannon, which is going to go for that 10 man gaunt unit right behind. Mm hmm. Whew, bad hits. One free reroll will be one hit. All right. And one gaunt explodes. One dead gaunt. I think I can live with that. Yeah, that's not the end of the world here. Okay. okay. Next, we are going to just declare a charge on those gaunts. I don't want them advancing because they are cracking, and that's mean. So they're going to go six inches. Ooh, the jet bike's coming in. Very interesting. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I don't think this is going to do too much. But it might even let me potentially pile in. Oh, this one around's also dead. Yep. Uh, might even let me potentially pile into the zone torps. I'll admit, I was not expecting to get charged by the regular jet bikes on turn one. <laughs> Sometimes you got to just YOLO. <laughs> this is my... Grand master plan that I came up in the shower right before the stream, right okay. here. All right, let's do some jet bikes. We got three hits, and we got fours to wound. Mm -hmm. 
One wound. One wound? All right, hold on. There's a six coming. There's no six There's coming. a warp fire no, coming. No, no, no. Oh, oh another dead gun. This, this is an Australian warp fire. Australian warp yeah, fire. Yeah, it's just it's upside a six down. on the down under. Sense. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, so let's see what I can do here. I think we're going to try to trap the gods. That, uh, I don't think you can. I might not be able to. I don't think you can. Didn't I just do it, though? I mean, I'll just pull that one then. Oh, OK. Uh, sure, you can trap him. Honestly, I'm going to stay there and just smite you anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, this doesn't matter at all. Yep. Um, okay. I just wanted to get, like, keep you from advancing and head back okay. a little bit. Um, I'm good. You, oh, right. I have to shoot these Star Avengers. Do you mind? Yes, yes, I mind completely. Oh, no. Oh, he's doing it anyway. I'm doing Curse it. you, Nanabadi. All right. 22 inches. Superior shurikens. All right. Let's see it happen. The Exarch has two guns. Two guns? No, I didn't pay for that. Ooh, is that free, though? Is that it is free? not. Oh, <laughs> it is not free. <laughs> um, I might be free now. They changed things like that. They did not. <laughs> Three used to wound. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Six wounds. Regular, six wounds? regular And are these AP1 as well? No, only when I'm in 12 view. Ah, very good. Okay. See, I have six up saves against this. No problem. I made one. Made a lot of them. All right. Just thin in the herd here. Thin in the herd. No problem. All right. That's five dead gods. Okay. Plenty left still. I do want to get my direct assault and domination, so I'm not super eager to uh, fire and fade them or anything. I'm yep. just going to accept their fate. There's another one. And uh, you can slap me back with some gods there. Oh, totally. This is going to be the worst god slapping you've ever seen in your oh, life. Oh. Not, not god slaps. God slapping. I mean, there are eight gods left here. That's true. That's that's more than I thought after the DK and the other charge. I thought that'd be like six. Nah, they got this. Hitting on fours. Ooh, two hits. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. A oh, wound. God slaps not like this. No, the god slaps. Now he has one wound left, right? One bike has a wound left. Mm, now if I want to fall back here, I could spend one command point for the implant attack. That's true. You know what? Nick was trying to be cheeky and try point me. <laughs> try point I'm Tyranids. Tyranids. Eldar do not try Eldar point Eldar try Tyranids. point the Tyranids. Take no! a mortal wound. I was so ready Take a mortal one. wound. Where is my fortune? Oh, I would have passed. <laughs> See? You don't mess with the gods, I know. Nick. I, I'm sorry for the disrespect. You got greedy. I will not tolerate that. That's okay. Down to six. Uh, six. Yep. And I'll just consolidate a little bit. And he's about to go up to seven CP. Um, I'm going to score three for direct assault, three for domination. Um, I, I believe that's everything. Oh, one thin the rank. And John's going to Thin the ranks. I'm thinning them. I, the, you saw the superior shurikens? They were superior. Get out of here. I don't believe that. The gaunts were inferior. No, no way. All right. So I guess he's wrapped, so he just stays put. All right. And uh, we're good to go. Is that on to my turn? That looks like it. All right. Well, I don't like Nick sitting on all of these fancy objective markers, so we're going to go ahead and just take him off them real quick, I think. Uh, yeah, no, I think I think that's what we're going to do. He's free, John. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Give me that. Two hold on, hold on, hold on. shots. But did you take a Shimmer Shield on the Exarch? No. That has to be you don't have the five up in bolt? No. Ooh, all right. Put 55 put, points rollways. Put two extra. Two shots, two hits. One more. Six up. Give me that gaunt. All right, one on more gaunt down. Got no the kidding. exterminator in here. All right, we're going to exterminate these Dire Avengers, folks. No problem at all. This is this will not last. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's uh, get it going. So we're going to just start off by advancing this uh, unit of Formagots. A healthy 13 inches is definitely going to put a couple guys onto this objective. We just want to push the screens out a little bit. I'll show you the screens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty. So we're just going to sneak them on up here. Not going to touch this ruin. We just want to be hidden. Hidden from these pesky Eldar. Make him come and uh, be a little more exposed if he wants to come out here. And that's okay. And then we're just going to make sure that if a Warwalker arrives, it's not even going to try to charge an ice cream. Oh, it's going to try. It can't. It's going to succeed. It, okay, that's not legal. Mm. I didn't ask you if it was legal. All right, well, in that case, <laughs> I don't have an argument. Did John just drop a die? I did, yes. I heard the ring of a bell of a victory for the for the brown magic here. Mm -hmm. I think after this game, if John loses the dice bet, he's got to call me the exterminator through an entire match Ooh. next time he plays the bugs. Okay, and uh, what, do you, what are we willing to put on the line? If anyone has some I mean, good... You, you tell me, what do you want? I'll if call, anyone, if anyone's got some good ideas here for a dice bet for when Mr. Nick Nanavati inevitably drops a dice, as he literally always does, just, uh, just let me know. We're not even going to roll dice this game. We've transcended that. Okay. Nick is now a Catan. <laughs> John's calling the exterminator. I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I think I'm going to just try to charge that unit and use that to move the Termagons a little far forward. Oh, clever. Clever. Mm -hmm. and then something will come kill these bikes. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be too hard. 
This Execrane actually looks pretty comfortable. I just want to pick up this Dire Vendor unit and make Nick throw more units forward to uh, try to achieve his uh, dastardly goals. I'm good on dastards. Dastardly goals, I say. Is there a Lictor? In no, there? there is not. No Lictor. No Lictor, no Lictor. In, in the party bus? No Lictor in this party. All right. That's what I like to hear. These zone oh, throws. Do you mind if I shoot? No, I forgot. Oh my gosh. Just no, shoot. No, shoot. Okay. Just, okay. Okay. just shoot. Just shoot. Let's, let's Nick, please. Fine, please fine. shoot me with the Viper. Two Vipers at the zone throws. All right. Which one is this? It doesn't matter. I get a free reroll this one. And he still missed. <laughs> and I two still wound. And it wounded. Good. Okay. See, this is why I said don't even bother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, these zone throws are just going to nudge their way up. Nudging. Nudging their way up. See, only D3 shots on those darn uh, D cannons. That is so much less scary than I thought. Yeah. I mean, they're still scary, but they're not. No, no, no. They do nothing. D3? Okay. Nothing. They, don't do they do nothing. Yep. They killed four Gaunts last turn. No, they didn't. No, they really did. No, I don't think they did. You had Ormagons? They are no longer with us. Those are the bikes, but we're going to get these bikes back. Mm. Not a problem. All right. We're just nudging these Gaunts up. Just want to. Just want to have lots of things to charge under that. Getting a lot of free movement out of them. That's really what I'm going for. If Nick's going to give me free movement, I will move for free. Hey, that's what you get for charging turn one. All right. This Hive Tyrant, not oh, to brag, no. has <laughs> I think you're the uh, Venom Thorn Parasite, Ooh. which means it's just a relic I've never used before. But it means that this little fella gets to not roll dice for his uh, Barb Strangler. He just gets the max shots. So it's just a barbed strangler, but it's always six shots instead of d6. Now, what are the stats to a barbed strangler? Strength seven, AP one, damage two. Mmm. Yeah. Sounds like good viper killing food. That sounds like good viper killing to me. But I, Mr. Lennon, have some news for you. What's that? I am masters of concealment, so I always count as in cover when Ooh. beyond 12 inches. Well, I don't ignore cover, so... That's, yeah. That's fine. Here's a suggestion. Mm. If Nick loses the bet, he should have to write a book report on the story from the Nid Codex. There's no book John. reports being Well, written. I mean, he has That's to finish... The, John has to call me a name and I have to do, waste two hours of my life? Absolutely not. <laughs> what would you like me to write my book report on, Nick? I don't care about you reading your book report. I care about you calling me the exterminator. Hmm. I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. Mm. That's yeah. happening. That's not negotiable. It's just okay. a matter of what you want. Okay. I see. I see how Nick likes to play. It's not playing. This is life or death. You haven't even right. picked up your dice. That's how disrespectful you are. This making me bend over. This demon Karen's just gonna wait a little longer. He doesn't need to do anything crazy. There is a shout out for you here, Nick. Ooh. Loved your interview with Jamie talking about space wolves on the uh, Art of War episode. Listen to that earlier today. Kudos to everyone who put that together. Thank you so much, Alex. Awesome. Very much appreciate that positive. All right. Well, I think appreciate you, Alex. I'm ready to go into the psych phase. Bring it. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cast ourselves uh, a smite. Yeah, and I whatever. think, you think that's actually, you know, we're gonna we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna have the uh, the hive tyrant it's moving in the psychic phase. No, 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 I'm just measuring distance. This is I'm almost as bad as shooting my bright moment. lances in your movement. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> we're gonna symbio storm this uh, X screen. Oh yeah, passes on a nine. Yeah. These dire rangers are so dead. They're not even. They're in pain. so dead. They're, they're, they're so they're dead. Fine. All right, then I think the hive tyrant. Um, hmm, let's see here. We'll have the zone throws cast onslaught onto the hive guard. Zone throws, you said. And that'll pass on a ten. Okay. I don't think I'm in any deny range yet. But next up, we'll just. Uh, I don't really want to smite you and just accidentally kill you. Yeah, that would suck, right? So uh, I think yeah, because then I, I can do like swarm lord moves to get back into where I need to be, but it's inconvenient at best. So you lied when you said you were going to smite me. I think I'm going to smite with the neurothrow because he's only D3 damage. So you roll out eleven. That's a pass on five. Mm -hmm. And does three mortal wounds. Even There's exactly. one bike with one wound left. That's perfect. That's totally fine. I... Perfect. All right. Well, we'll a zone therapy is going to kill that in close combat. That's just disrespectful. I know. That's what I'm going for. All right. Then we're just going to cast Catalyst, and that will be from the um, um, the Neurothrope, and uh, that'll pass on at eleven because he has the. Uh, See where was that the on spine. the big smut? I have no jet bikes right here. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. And then I think that we're just gonna. Who wants it most? I'm not really worried about Nick's damage output because he's Eldar. Um, I think... Big words. Big words. got nothing. He doesn't even I think we'll put it on him. the zone throw unit. Zone throw is going to get Catalyst. Yeah, whatever. All right. Let's get this party started. 
Uh, the egg screen is going to shoot first. He's going to put a full volley right there. Oh. And he didn't move, so he's hitting on threes. You're rolling ones. Look at those piles of twos. And ones. extra hit, extra hit, yeah. extra hit. So a yeah. little below average, only seven hits, but that'll kill five dire Won't uh, kill vendors. anything. I have ma No, they're not masters of concealment. Yep. They yeah, well, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right. Next up, we're going to fire the hive guard. And we're actually going to start shooting at a... You can just hold it over that bike. The bike right here? Yep. Uh, is there. Oh, OK. Hold, yeah. hold it um, up, oh. just so that we get a straight line. Yep. All right, so I'm going to fire three hive guard into bikes. that bike. Mm, and here I thought my bikes were safe. I was poor measuring on my part. Mm, they are not safe. Yes. Nothing is safe. Hitting on threes is six hits. Oh. Wounding on twos. That's not good. Is going to be merely four, but AP two, ignoring cover. That's fine. I four D three. All right, that's not the a good first start. one. Will wound, wound a bike. Then, ooh, I think I'm actually willing to CP reroll oh, that. He's blowing them here. We kill kills the bike. A bike. Kill the bike. Kills the bike. And then kills the bike. Kills the bike. Okay. That's fine by me. Not a not a good use of the bikes here. Yep. I wanted these bikes off the table. I want Nick to not have these fast little units that actually are good at killing gods. I don't want Nick to try and try point me again. I'm gonna do that. It was. That's rude. What's gonna happen? Disrespectful. You need to understand what's no, happening here. No, absolutely not. I am the one who try points. You no. All right, the strangle thorn cannon is going into the viper. <laughs> I am so rude. With its hold on. venom hold four on. and parasite. Okay. Hold on. Are you willing to lightning faster? I'm this? thinking about it. Okay. So we go from four hits to three hits. On average, yeah. And then from three hits to two wounds, and I do statistically survive. Yep. Then you have a viper. Then I have a viper. Then you have a viper. That's not worth it. Probably. But I want to do it, and I'm going to. Oh my goodness, no threes, here it comes. Three twos, all right. Feel good about this lightning fast. <laughs> Two, saves. Two saves, I survived, we got a Viper! I have a three of save from cover, you're AP1. Yep. I don't know why I did that at all, but that's fine. <laughs> the Viper is currently <laughs> wounded. <laughs> We're going to survive. We're going to Viper for two turns. All right. So uh, at that point, I just have charges to clear. Yeah, nothing to do. So we're going to charge the um, Termagons in the back into the uh, one. Overwatch, no. The one dude. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Let's just see what kind of free movement, free real estate, we can get out of you know, we, real estate. we were just talking in the war room about how you can use little units that people throw away like this for trades to give you free movement in the charge phase and get your army repositioned onto objectives. Is that something you're doing right now, John? Absolutely. I just want to get these guns farther forward because Nick was able to kill some of my screens turn one. I wasn't frankly expecting him to, but uh, he had the opportunity and he took it. This Back, this front squad will charge in. And if you wanted to uh, learn how to use these cool tactics and many, many other ones, where could you do that? 100%, you should go check out the Art of War War Room. Oh. That is where we show off all of our top level tips and tricks in part of the community. Oh. And Ooh. tonight, coming up in the War Room, we got a showdown for the ages. Mr. John trying his hand at Slanish Demons mm -hmm. versus Mr. Robot himself piloting weird Imperial soupy stuff. We got custodies. We got guard. We got Admech all in one smorgasbord of an army. I don't, not Admech. Never mind. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. We're in with this jet bike, and we're going to start off with <clears throat> the zone throps. This is happening. Mm -hmm. The zone throps are going to get a kill in close combat. I refuse to acknowledge. There are five of them. They can all swing. Two hits. Oh, no. Two like hits. Hold no, on. Not like this. One save. Yes. Oh, all right, the gaunts will do it. All this, right, is, the, this is a good day. All right. Uh, of the ten gaunts here, they'll pile in, and then um, these two won't swing. So mm -hmm. just be eight gaunts hitting you. Yes. That's all right. We're going to get it done, folks. Yeah, we will right. get it done. All right. Three hits. Mm -hmm. Better than last time, and that killed bike, so no problems here. A singular wound. A ten, singular. we do it. As in one. As in one. We did it. Oh, my We're goodness, alive. the four farmers. All right. We have a jet bike. All right, the Termagants and the, the squad up front. <sighs> Three I'm attacks gonna, coming in here. We're going to do this. We are so Three hits. No. Oh, my goodness. I refuse to die like this. Two saves. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> not like this. Oh, is it worth a command point? Is, it doesn't do anything. I, it does not. But it makes me so happy. I'm not going to. But you would to, fail the morale but check. But if I did, I can't fail the morale check. You lost two medals. That's a leader's fate. No way. Yeah, way. Elder are cowardly. I don't believe that. No, no. 
All righty. Well, that is going to end it for my turn. I am going to get my own direct assault and my own domination. I'm going to get a 10 on primary because that's Viper true. lived. Also, the Dire Vengers. But the Viper lived. The Viper lived. Yeah, that's right. The Viper lived. And we're going to go up to 7 CP. Okay. All right. I like it. Okay. Time to make some plays happen. We got mm -hmm. to do some snaz and do some schnaz. Do, okay, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Our, I'm just going to consult it. Do the hive guard ignore AP 1 and 2 or no? Um, no, they don't. They don't. No. Missile launcher time. Who has missile launchers? On the right. Oh, okay. Or walkers. <laughs> All right. Get a little closer. Okay. So that's two units of guns there? Yes. We're going to blow them up. That's okay. probably true. Okay. So... The nearest deny and the nearest the nearest Kronos thing is really far. Yeah, so yeah. The, the Kronos nearest, is all the purple stuff. The nearest deny is right there. So mm -hmm. that's where I have to not be to cast powers comfortably. Ooh. Can you hide? Oh, I will hide. No way. I will hide. I will ride, and I will die. I believe that. I, I do believe that you will uh, ride and die here. Okay. So I don't. I don't think you're emotionally prepared for what. I don't happen. think what you're you emotionally to... prepared for how Come many models you're about to lose this turn. It's going to be all of them. Ooh, bold words. Bold words. All right, is the Seer Council willing to come uh, play? Seer Council's willing to come <gasps> play. We're Seer... getting the Seer Council, folks. Seer Council's coming to partay. Do now, now, now. I'm a Seer Council now. Going to blow up all these gods with my superior sure we can't. Oh, man. Teenage Mutant Seer Council. <laughs> John doesn't even know what that is. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nick thinks he knows pop culture references. <laughs> I know I don't. That's what makes it wonderful. All right. And we're going to have some of them be out of deny range. So mm -hmm. whoever's out of deny is going to be doing the castering. All right. We got now, are they all staying outside of 24 of a Kronos unit? I hope so. Okay, I'm where's, just checking. Yeah, where's the Kronos? Uh, the egg screen's the closest one. Yeah, that's not 24. <laughs> okay, perfect. So I was just making sure. Because the Kronos uh -huh. strat isn't model by model. It's just pick a unit. Yeah, yeah. So then we're going to give plus one to cast to our fortune guides here. I think, oh, no, we're not. We're going to do the Duma. No, we'll do fortune cast. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we don't want to get blown up, though, so we have to be a little <laughs> bit more You careful. can if you wish. I am uh, benevolent. <sighs> I will let you run into the X screens with open arms. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we got war walkers, and they're going to keep my farce here nice and safe. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna have to shoot the War Walkers and. The... Okay. Everyone's making fun of me. I don't know why. <laughs> we're, we're not. Dire Avengers are advancing. Nine inches. We need to kill these gods. These dirty, dirty gods. And get direct assault and domination. So we're gonna put four models in the objective, so even if everything goes terribly, we still own it. Yep. I have three models, so even when those gods somehow survive. And then we got Dire Avengers coming out to play here. Ooh. Nine inches. Oh, yeah. I'm yep. going to shoot down the alleyway into dead Nick is wins. willing to brave the fires of this Tyranid army to There's try no and kill gods. There's no fires in this Tyranid army. There's a psychic fire. It's when I, uh, the zone throw starts smiting. 12 inches here. Oh, you know what? We'll put one back here. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. All right. We have three Dire Avenger units coming up. Nick is really planning to kill as many gods as possible possible right here oh yeah we're gonna kill all them gaunts mm -hmm. i i can see that these dire avengers see all right an ass with the telestrator the telestrator nine inches nothing too crazy and what do you have in reserve again john uh right now i have an exocrine and two units of ripper swarms oh, that's gonna hurt so those ripper swarms are gonna come in and they are going to make nine inch charges and contest nick's objective the ice cream is gonna kill things that's gonna be great nope no? Nope. Nick disagrees with me. That's okay. Can my Vipers cut an angle onto the Hive Guard? I really doubt it. But one can check. If I'm right there. Now you're short on the containers. Aha! Excellent. Just as planned. We will get into a duel with your Flyrant, though. You know what? The Hive Tyrant is going to do much better next time. I've, I've got faith in him. And and next time Nick's not going to Lightning Fast Reflex, I'm going to get three threes to hit. Mm. Ooh, a screen? No. We'll just, we'll just, well, you can, you can draw lines better. We'll shoot the flyer from here and hang out. All right. Let's see it happen. This side of my army is pretty content, so let's advance these Avengers. They're not doing anything for us. Mm -hmm. We just need to screen. Just trying to stop these Rippers from getting anywhere near your objectives? I don't want anything getting in near anywhere. Okay, that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. 
Farseer. Uh, Spirit Seer is. Ooh. He really Spirit should Seer. be on a jet bike. I should have wrote that better. Um, the Spirit Seer? The Warlock that he wishes he was. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, now, are you just trying to kill all the Gaunts this turn? Yeah. Okay. It's a bold aspirations, but uh, so not a bad idea. Six, and here's two. Mm hmm. And then here's four, and here's four. Ooh, I'm excited that we are getting these. Uh, these Wraith Seers out to play. Wraith Seer dual time. Wraith Seers? Oh, I'm so excited for that. What's on that agenda back there? Like, That's a great question. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have, All right. We might have to back up with Old Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Mark's going to die. Oh. It's not even glued. What is Mark, Mark is doing? Mark crying right now. I mean, it it's, was. It, it, it's Seer. not. Like, you can look at it. Like, it wasn't glued. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking here? Um, I think this Wraith Seer needs to come back, and I'm sad about it. Mm, very tragic. We'll leave the Farseer on the objective, because he can just hang out there, and then we'll leave the race here within three of the Farseer so I don't get blown up. Uh-huh. Makes I think a lot of sense to me. Does it, John? It does make <laughs> sense to John. And then here, we are going to get our focus while going and pass all our powers. Beautiful. Just staying outside of 24. With everything except for that race here. All right. Well, I will definitely deny whatever he's doing. So then we got... Ooh. Um, I don't want Nexacron showing up behind me, so let's make sure that's well, it blocked. can't be in your deployment zone. Because it's turn two. That's right. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, let's. I put would love to. To be clear. Farseer right here, or Warwalker right here. Mm -hmm. um, able to blow up some hive guard, mm -hmm. and right there. here, able to blow up some hive guard. Okay. Just standing on top of the trees because they're vehicles. Uh, uh, this is a very complicated piece of terrain. So I'm <laughs> just gonna Go ahead. It. <laughs> Alrighty, so trying to just get some shots into the hive guard here. Uh -huh. Let's just check that from this hive guard. He's got just an angle with that guy right there. All right, let's do some psychic shenanigans. Ooh, okay. Let's see it. We'll start off with using the Seer Council stratagem. I'm down to six command points mm -hmm. for plus one to cast onto my Guide Fortune for Seer and my Seer Council. Oh, super powerful. So then we're gonna go and cast a Focus Will onto mm -hmm. the Seer Council. Which will pass on a 10. Is so they plus three to cast? They're now? plus three to cast. Oh no! So it's gonna be pretty hard to stop them. Yeah. They're gonna protect themselves because they don't want to take some pain. And that's gonna go off on a 10. Oof. Then they're going to quicken themselves. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that'll let me tuck in right here, blow this all up. But then I'll leave this kind of exposed. Right now it's not, it's nice and protected. Yeah. I got a solid 10 coming. I don't even think I need to quicken them. Who else could I quicken? Um, I think I'm going to quicken the wraiths here. Ooh, oh, interesting. I don't know if that's a legal move. It might be an infantry bike. Um, you know what? I'm really confident that my pew pews can just blow this unit up. It seems fairly likely. Um, so I think I'm good on the quickens. I'll restrain the hormone. That's not going to do anything. I'll smite the hormones. That's your counsel. Goes off, plus three is just a nine, so D6 mortals, six mortals, because I am a seer. Wow, what is the range on their shuriken weapons? Um, 22. Oh, they're the extended ones? They are. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get out of range with them. So that we're just going to pull uh, six of them, and uh, we'll be sad about it, mm -hmm. but uh, that's just going to happen. Six Hormagons down, what a good smite there. They're going to be done. Yep. Then we will... Let's see. There's not much worth doing mm -hmm. here. I don't want to relieve really Wesh Perils. We will Doom. Uh, they're so screwed. Everything is so screwed right in front of me. Yep. Yeah, I'm expecting to lose a lot of Gaunts right now. We'll go for an Executioner over there. Ooh, into the Termagants. Reroll the one. Uh, into still, another one. Still fail. And we'll no try executing to, for you. Try to Doom those Termagants, which passes on eight. All right, they are certainly doomed. This race here will... No, I don't even want to smite because it's just risking your perils. Mm -hmm. These guys are all screwed. So let's just do the fun stuff. We'll start with uh, the Seer Council. Did you want to cast Fortune with anyone? Oh yeah, the far Seer hasn't done God of Fortune. That was important. Yep. Thank you. Guide the Seer Council. Which passes because that plus one on Very seven. Very nice. And then Fortune the Seer Council, which will reroll and we're we'll both into a perils and a fail. I take three mortals, but I ignore them on twos and Eldar are broken. Oh my goodness. No mortal wounds, but no fortune on the Seer Council. That's Very okay. interesting. We will do these Dire Avengers into uh, the Termagants here. One, okay. two, three, four, five, plus an extra weapon. Ooh. 
I like it. Threes to hit, and then threes to wound. And this is all AP one, and it'll be seven dead. Seven dead gaunts. Luckily for you, there are eight gaunts left. Yes, yes, one gaunt lives. What a travesty. Indeed. Did those uh, Dire Vengers advance to get there? Yes. Okay. Yes, you were fine. Don't want to get wrapped again. No, no. Um, <laughs> Perish the thought. Let's fire the all of this stuff. We will do nine Seer Council people into those Gaunts, mm -hmm. and one Seer Council person into that. Aha, gaunt. that one will live. Here, we'll start with the one. No. Threes, and they are guided, just not for oh. Three hits and threes. Uh, two regular armor saves. I'm not within 12. Well, that's a six, so it's a rent. Oh, it's a rent, yeah, that's right. So the Tormagant goes down. That's another thin the ranks for Mr. Nick. One, two, He's probably gonna get a few. Three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like this Tormagant unit may be dead nine. soon. No. No? No. I feel, I, you know, I'm willing to give you this one, Nick. You're gonna just I, I think they're dead. Oh, beautiful. There we I, go. These, you know, I thought they were, but, but now we know. Now we know. Okay. Let's start off with two crack missiles into the hive guard. Ooh. Downtown. All right. So this is one free reroll. Unfortunately, double twos is the so triple three twos. twos. Let's try different dice. Big dice for big numbers. <laughs> big dice for ones. Doing it again. Two hits this time. Okay. Threes to wound. More twos. More oh, no, twos. <laughs> okay. You six twos on nine dice. Gotta love it. Yeah. That's what okay. I like to see. Okay. And we're gonna move over here where I will hopefully feel better about myself. <laughs> uh -oh. You see, folks, this was actually bait. Putting those hive guard there, Honestly. that was bait to make yeah. the war walkers commit to an unwinnable shooting war. It was, uh, that was genius. <laughs> very clever, yes. Nick we've, never saw it coming. We've got four gaunts that can shoot, or four, two dire avengers that can shoot those four gaunts. Okay. Uh, four hits and two saves, just regular. All right, two six ups. Uh, yeah, six ups. All right, we'll pull two. Mm -hmm. Now, which dire avengers have, uh... That was the very back one. All right, so these guys still have to shoot, and they've got 22 inch range, right? Oh yeah. Well, they've got almost. I think he has the extended uh, sub faction yeah. so roll, right? So it's 18 normally, and then I have superior shuriken, so 22. Dire Avengers should be 18. They have Avenger shuriken catapults. That's we can just pull the, pull that up, double check. Oh, oh, that's right. They don't have the. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so I'll have to quicken them. Let me just see if I passed it, and I'll just move them to where they need to be. I passed it because I'm plus three. Yeah. So, I mean, I was just going to leave so, a guy on the objective, yeah. so you just need 16. to do the 16 of that. Yeah, so I'll just all move right, them yeah. a tiny bit closer. Thank yep. you, Chad. Sorry about that. Got in the Dire Avenger habit. No problem at all. Uh, I'll still tag the forest for whatever that's worth. Mm -hmm. um, ah, nothing will save you. And this is the guy that blew up. Is that gone? Okay. All right. Um, so then the next squad will go over here. Ooh. And What are they going to do? This one's got... Range and line of sight to all but those two. And mm -hmm. this one, two guys have range and sight to those two. So I will do the five that can only, that can shoot limited. And then yep. the other squad, hopefully, will see. Absolutely. I'll probably lose the rest of these gaunts here, unfortunately. But I did make these Dire Avengers come out to play, which is really what I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. And two are going to die and three saves. So three saves. I'm going to be able to just blow up, through, blow up your whole right, so unit. So just four right. down now. Here, yeah, means the still next four left. You can see with everything. Okay. So, 12 more shots into him. Beautiful. And threes. You need lots of ones and twos here. We got two runs enough. and a bunch of saves. All right. Let's go, Gaunts. That'll be the Gaunts. That'll be the Gaunts. All right. All the Gaunts are down. Obsec is very much less now. That's all right. I'm happy with the things I'm seeing. Uh, it's okay, honestly. Um, I really just wanted to make Nick expose his obsec to do so. And I'm pretty comfortable with the fact that all of his Dire Avengers are very much in front of me. So I'm hoping I can kill a lot of them in my own turn, especially since he doesn't have the five up in I'm gonna kill them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. into zone throws. Oh. One, One shot. shot. No chance. It hits. It wounds. Three up in bone. No problem. All right, we'll do the next race here. Actually, do I want to fire and fade this race here? That was an interesting Ooh, race. Ooh, that is kind of cool. Uh, I don't think so, because then he'll be catching the smites, mm -hmm. and I just don't like that. But it was an interesting thought. Okay. We'll fire the next race here. Uh, it's 24 inch, right? Yeah. You were out of 24 in the second phase size. Let's go. Right. He, he didn't cast anything. Oh, okay. The behind him was out. All right, you're, you're yeah. fine. Go ahead. So one hit or one shot? One shot. I'm still going to make my three-up okay. invuln. It's going to be no problem. One wound. We're good. It's okay. a three-up invuln. Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, well, I think that should just do it for me. Uh, <laughs> Don doesn't owe me morales. I'm going to get direct assault domination again. And you decided not to fire and fade? And I decided not to fire and fade. Not to fire and fade? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, Nick has uh, done a pretty good job here of clearing out my screens. I'm going to have to start committing some real units to the center. Well, but we're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to get myself a five on primary here. Nick was able to scrape me off there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going up to seven. I'm still at six. All right. Yep. And yep. Uh, thin the ranks. And how many gaunts did you have? Uh, you've killed uh, 50 gaunts. 50 gaunts, five points. Yep. Nice. Not bad. But now I'm out of infantry, so hopefully he'll be getting less from now on. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try out these zone zones. Oh, we're going to... This is a turn where Nick has given me a lot of things to chew on, so I really want to do maximum damage here, see what I can get done. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, advance the uh, zone throps. Mm -hmm. I think a healthy 11 inches is going to be enough to put a zone throp right there. Brains. Brains. Just want one. I think that's plenty. And there you're while we stand, we fight you. Know, does they, that concern you at all? No, I expect to lose them. I'm not trying to get a 15 while we stand, we fight, mm. frankly. I'm just trying to get them upfield. If they get in combat, I don't really mind. I'm just going to stay there and keep smiting. Yeah. And I have plenty of things to come in and help them out. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind if uh, Nick decides he wants to commit to try to kill this unit, because it'll bring him very close to the rest of my army. And it's going to be quite a bear to kill. Yep. Exactly. Now we're just going to check out this Exocrine. So he can right now shoot at either of those two units. Mm -hmm. And um, the Hive Guard, I could put a couple in there as well. The rest would have to uh, go into something like... Can you hold it over that model? Yeah, right forward, right here. All right, so it looks like only f five of the Hive Guard can shoot you. Okay. So one of them will just go into the render or something. But I think they're going to all hold still. Now, what I do want to do is send some units over here to go mess with these, uh, these, these little annoying little things. So I think I'm probably going to deep strike a Ripper squad right in front here just to be on the objective and get my domination points. Yeah. Um, We'll, we'll think about that. I do also have an Exocrine who's definitely going to be arriving from reserves this turn. Mm -hmm. Where do you think you put him in? No, I'm actually thinking of coming in right over here. Mm -hmm. now, but it does give that Seer Council something easy to wrap. So I'll probably keep it closer to home. That's and exactly I'll just have extra thing. shots going into these uh, various Dire Avenger units. So I think I'm just going to arrive right here probably and just touch that forest so I don't have to shoot through it. And then I've got good shots into things like the Vipers and these uh, Dire Avengers. We're going to hold off on that, obviously. We'll move the rest of the army first. <clears throat> so let's uh, start off this Hive Tyrant. He's going to just swoop op up over here, and it'll probably try to symbiote storm this guy back there. And we'll, we'll just check with your oh, deny range. I to fire the Vipers again. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do it. They're going to do it. They're going to shoot the fire. <clears throat> All right, shoot the fire. What do these things have? Fright Lances. We okay. the hit. Two hits. Were they going through the forest? Yeah. One hit. Okay. <laughs> One wound. Give All right. Nibble. Give me a nibble. Do you want to reroll it? It's D6 damage. No, God. Oh! I'm rerolling that down to 5 CP. Indoor big dice, big numbers. A different one is coming, I can tell. Six damage on the flyer! Right? Right. <laughs> Thank you, John. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. No problem here. We're just trying to get as many of my psychers as possible in 18. I really want to start churning out the mortal wounds here so that mm -hmm. I can really try to hamper uh, Nick's numbers here. Mm -hmm. So, no problem. Yep. All right, we're good. Now I'm also thinking. Is thinking it's Dima Karen time. Oh, not the yes. Dima Karen. Time. Think the Dima Karen's gonna come. Probably try to pick up some of these characters back here. Remember, this one has a Phoenix gem. Okay. So that's, I don't think that'll actually help Nick here, but um, it's worth remembering. Yep. Because it'll just keep keep well, taking damage on the stand up. I'll be fine. All right. I'm just gonna make sure. Um. Oh no, we're gonna do different things. The zone throps are the ones that have onslaught in this army, which I just Ooh. hate so much. Ooh. So we're gonna just uh, trail this back because I really want to have someone cast onslaught from not in range. Not in deny range. Actually, honestly, I need to on I needed to pass so bad that we're gonna do some uh, tyranid trickery to make Ooh. this happen. Weird obscure tyranid strats. Weird like obscure it. tyranid strats are going off. So we're just gonna make sure that this uh, neurothrope is out of range, out of deny range of that. Uh, okay. I'll just see if he can still be within 18. Yeah, he in, totally can. He's in range right now, though. Is that over him? All right. Can you can you just tell me when it's over him? Yeah. That's my base. All right, so we'll just my flyer. We'll go right there. Okay. And I'll also back the flyer up because I'm degraded now, actually. Yeah, he's got six wounds left. He's losing the fight to the Vipers. That was the fire and fade. Yep. 
It's all right. Well, we have to kill the vipers, so we're just gonna make sure I've still got line of sight to that guy. You think you're gonna kill the vipers? Yeah, now I think so. degraded? His you can kill him when he was when he was fine. Now he's limping. No, no, we got this. All right, this demon Karen is going to advance, mm -hmm. and he's going to go. I think we're gonna double this and go twenty four. Spending whopping CP inches. To double the advance. Can you just put a leaping a dice there? across these buildings? He's, he's a leaper. He is a leaper. That was quite the hop. This man has hops. He's, uh, that's fine. And then the uh, the swarm lord will, I believe, advance as well. Mr. Swarms. Mr. Swarms. Oh my God, Mr. Swarms. She's gonna go seven here, and then another. Um, let's see, he's going thirteen inches, so we'll go another seven, and he'll end up right there. Just want to make sure that he is giving plenty of love and support to this demon Karen. And the hot guard will hold still. He's not giving nothing. He's, he's giving everything. And we are good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think uh, we're just going to bring in both Ripper Swarms. And I'm actually going to bring them in. Um, now, I really need to decide if I want to try and maybe just sneak a charge in onto this character just to contest the objective. But I think I'm going to have the Demon Karen try to contest it anyway. Mm -hmm. And I just need to, I don't have to do much to make that happen. Yeah. So I think I'll bring one unit in um, right here. Even though it gives the Seer Council something to chew on, it does also put a Kronos unit very close to them. Yeah, that's no um, Which is going to be pretty annoying. Now, remember, I could intercept them for 2 CP here. That's true. Go ahead. Uh, let's see how many have range. Okay, so I have 16 inches on all of these dudes, mm -hmm. which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can yeah. I just put them there and not be within 16 of that guy? No. No, okay. okay. So, so two, three. 7 dudes and then 18 inches on their spears. The spears might be 12. I think the spears are 12. Yeah, probably. So, okay. four spears. Uh, four spears and six shurikens. I am guided. Honestly, that probably kills you. Yep. Don't want to spend two CP to do it. Three or more rippers can go right there, but yeah. I do have to clear the stuff. And those are the Kronos rippers. So They're both Kronos. They're, They're both Kronos. Yep. Oh. Then it's less powerful. Um, mm -hmm. mm, killing the rippers is fun. It is. This fun. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna do it. All right, Nick is going to try here. Now, there's. Is there a negative inbuilt to this, Three, or is no, it just I'd no? Shoot you. Oh, look at that Eldar stuff. Five, six. Sure to catapult. I'll do the four spears. Try to make it quick. Okay. Uh, guide. Ooh. Will be four hits. Very nice. And twos will be uh, three wounds. All right, let's armor. get some sixes. Fell two. I forget if it's two damage or D three. I think it's. But it killed the base either way. Yep. Um. And here's all the shurikens. Ooh, the shurikens. Do, do, do. Definitely expecting this to be the end of the rippers, which means I'm going to deep strike another unit right there. Mm -hmm. Which will work. I basically just spent 2 CP to make my life easier later on junk mm -hmm. I have to kill. Um, I also didn't want you creating a net of chrono stuff. I want there to be a safe space if I want it. Absolutely. So three runs go through and a whole yeah, bunch of Yeah, they're just going to die, and I'm just going to put the next unit into the same spot. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Got a unit of Rippers. And Got a unit of Rippers. three more models within the ranks. <laughs> there we go. But Nick is down to three command points. I don't need those. <clears throat> okay. I don't even have stats. So beginning of my psychic phase, we're going to start off with the trickery. We're going to spend a command point, and that Neurothrope is going to know all of the powers known by Kraken Psychers. Oh boy. And so he will know Onslaught as well as his own Thropes. And now I'm going to start by casting Onslaught, because he's out of deny range into this Demon Karen. Yeah. And he's plus one to cast because that's my Resonance Barb. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to pass it. There's no point in re-rolling this, so I just okay. pass on an eight. Yep. Um, and then he will go ahead and smite. Mm -hmm. And uh, on re-rolling ones, he will pass on a six. Okay. And so it'll do D3 Mortal Wounds to that front uh, Diavendra squad and kill three of them. All right, and I'll just pull the front three. Okay. And next up, um, he since he can cast a third power because he's a Neurothrope, he's going to actually go ahead and... Uh, I think cast uh, Synaptic Lure, which is the spell known by the Swarm Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to just go ahead and put it onto this. Um, What's that do? Uh, basically, any uh, Kraken unit that charges it rolls 3d6, take the highest. Ah, I see. <clears throat> I, that's not the spell. So it'll pass on a 12. Well, I might as well try. I have a thousand denies right here. Uh, no, it's uh, it's out of range. Oh, it's the fly rune. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because synaptic lure. Fly rune is definitely in range. No, 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 it's the neurothrope. Oh, the neurothrope. Synaptic lure does not have a range. 
You can cast three spells this turn? Yeah, this because he's a Neurothrope, he casts two, and the Resonance Barb lets him cast three. Oh, okay. And he knows this all the Kraken spells, so I might as well get the value out of him. That's true, that's true. Yep. Okay. So next up, uh, everything else should be in deny range. We'll go with the Flyer right next. He'll just cast Smite. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll pass on a six. It's my second Smite. Yep. I'm You've got deny one it. deny range, I think. Yeah, who's got Swarm Lord? Uh, I'm sure someone does. The whole council, so yeah. Yep, okay. <laughs> all right, so we will try. We need a seven. Not a four. Okay, D3 more to the next Dire Avenger unit is two more. Ooh, so that'll and be then just a the Hive rest. Tyrant will also cast Scream. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that will scream. fail on a four. That's okay. The um, Swarm Lord will go ahead and cast Smite, which I think will just hit these Dire Avengers. Okay. Oh, uh, do you mind if I bring my egg screen on in that of spot? Of course, yeah. Thank you. Um, on an eight, he'll pass uh, Smite. We'll try it down because we have a bunch of them. Uh, stop that on nine. Very cool. Why don't you put the egg screen down? Yep. Mm hmm. And we're, uh, we'll spend a command point in this shooting phase to make him kind of stationary. Yeah, of course. And then um, we will have the... Um, let's think. Who else might need this? Uh, the Swarm Lord can only cast Paroxysm, so I'll uh, roll it. And uh, I don't think I have anything relevant in range, actually, so we're not even going to bother. Mm -hmm. And then the, the Zone Thropes will cast Knight. Yep. And they will pass on an 8. All right, we'll use a Farseer Deny from back here. Okay. And I can re-roll this. Got it on a nine. On a nine, very nice. So that'll stop the 2d3 mortal wounds that we're going to go into that Dire Avenger unit. Yeah, I'm very All right. happy about that. All right, let's uh, go ahead then and just start shooting. Sounds good. All right, so we're going to start, I think, this Exocrine. I think can see the Dire Avengers in the center. Yeah, he definitely can. Okay. So I might just start with that because I want to kill as many Dire Avengers as possible. And I think that's actually more important than trying to kill these uh, Warwalkers. Okay. Warwalkers have an invuln, right? Yeah, five up. Yeah, so I think we're just going to put this full volley into uh, the, Dire Avengers? the Dire Avengers. Okay. And who's Symbia Stormed? No one. No one, okay. Yep. And that will be three dead Avengers. Three Avengers. Nice. nice. I like that. And can I pull myself out of line of sight of him? Just to try to make John work harder. Uh, I could, but it involves losing the Exarch. Ooh. I'm not super keen to do that. So if he wants to shoot in the whole Exarch into two Dire Avengers, he can. All right. Well, joke's on Nick. We're going to do it again. Okay. There we go. Four. Oh, we're rolling ones. Ah, oh, I was rolling ones last time. Mm. And that will finish the squad. That's all right with me. It's a all right. Tire now is five. the big part. The this hive tyrant is shooting the wounded viper. No. Six Can shots. Can I do it again? You wouldn't dare. Oh. Nick is not brave enough. We I all know not. that. I not. There we go. Three twenty threes. And ooh, one. one. Wound. It's got a little. It takes two damage and lives. Incredible. Beautiful Viper. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So what I think we're going to do then is we've got this whole other Exocrine. We can try to kill some Dire Avengers. Can you see that Viper? <laughs> what? I don't know. I can see one of them. I don't know if it was the wounded one. That's the other one. Ah, They're both on four wounds. It's They're even better. They're both on four wounds. It's even better. Oh, beautiful. It's hard to beat this, folks. <laughs> All right. So I think we will have... I've guarded the seer council. Uh, one will. The other five are going to go into the um, race here. The race here, I think. Okay. Because their toughness eight, toughness but eight. only nine wounds. Only nine wounds. All right. Um, yeah, we'll do that first because if he's really wounded, that may change how my other exocrine shoots. Mm -hmm. So this is ten shots into the wraith seer. Of course. All right. Seven hits. Wounding on fours here. Let's not get good wounds. So that's four, four wounds. saves at AP two. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Fives. Fails three. Three, yeah, three right. D three damage. This could just be nine damage. Well it's not. That is nine it's damage. Nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, that's mm, Hive guard. <laughs> and two shots will go into that seer council. Mm -hmm. And that'll be no hits because the forest. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so I think um He wasn't important to the plan. He was not. He really, really, really wasn't. We're actually gonna have the Dima Karen, I think. Try to, um, you could probably just get there and then with a charge, go tag those. Mm -hmm. And I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, go for that. Just a little handsome. Yeah, because I still have other guns, but I want to see how far he's going. 16. Six, a mere 16. A mere, like a mere cat. Indeed, like a mere cat. Gotcha. I would really love to finish off uh, the other right seer here. Yeah, that would suck. So let's, let's hope we can make that happen. Um, I think we're just going to have the Exocrine put um, his first volley into the... Um, um, do Vipers have an invuln? No. Let's put his first volley into a Viper. 
right. I don't think I'm going to clear Nick off the objective anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to do that. Okay. Uh, how many? Uh, hmm. How many Dire Avengers are, are left in each Two unit? Two full squads and a one man. Two full squads and a one man. So that's five, five, and one. Mm -hmm. Now if these hive guard shoot twice, a couple of them could shoot. Looks like, uh, again, five of them could shoot into one of these squads if I were to double shoot. Let's actually, um, I would love to wipe out the Dire Avengers here. Yeah, I'm sure. The other okay. option would be that if the Hive Guards shoot again, I could potentially put shots into these War Walkers, but frankly, I think I'd rather ignore them and try to kill yeah, Nick. rolled nine twos to hit. I mean, you it oh, soon they'll roll ten twos the next time Nick tells the story. That's All right, fair. we're going to have this exit green go into the five man that's sitting firm on the objective, okay. the back of the two five men. This is six shots. Rerolling ones, because he counts as stationary. And then wounding on twos. That will be three, three. dead. I like three. Now, dead. because they have an avenging strike, that's actually kind of annoying. Yes. <laughs> so we'll go ahead then, and um, we'll just put uh, the second volley into that wounded squad, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, Rerolling ones, good thing. It's going to be four hits, and that will be three dead dire avengers. So okay. we'll finish off that squad, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm actually going to be a little sneaky here. I okay. think we are going to... Oh, yeah, sneaky. I think we're going to um, have the Hive Guard shoot twice here. I mean, they're just Ooh. such champions, right? Yeah, I, yeah, that's what they're known for. The, they are known for being such champions. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have five of them go into the full health uh, Dire Avenger unit. Yep. And, um, Do they all have range for that? Uh, no, they don't. That's why only five are going. Oh, okay. I think. Okay. I got you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the last guy... The last guy, I don't think anyone's in range of, so I think I'll actually do four and one. Four okay. and, four and uh, one, yeah. Four hive guard trying to blow up all my Avengers. I think that's pretty realistic, yeah. This Where's is, the last one going? The uh, Seer Council? The Seer Council, yeah. Awesome. So into guy. the Seer Council. No. Okay. This is into the one guy. Two hits. Mm -hmm. And two AP2. Nope. All right, and then eight shots into the other dire Avengers. Let's see how much damage we can get done here. Eight hits, pretty good start. Wounded on twos. Let's get these dire Avengers. It's gonna be six AP two, and they ignore cover. That will kill the unit. All right. Isn't the oh, sergeant no, two wins? One of the D threes. Okay. Mm -hmm. He lives. Ooh, is that worth a command point, folks? Should I? Oh, what, what's his leadership? Objective. He's leadership eight. All right, and he's not on the objective. No. Yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll, the only objective does not we'll let that go. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's um charge the uh. Secret, could you actually pull up synaptic lure from the um yeah, the blood ball? It's reroll charges? Okay, thank you. And is that only if I only charge the target or if I multi-charge, does that count? Because I'm genuinely not sure. I don't use this one often. I'm not sure either. Yeah, it's a, it's a Kraken-specific spell. If you can just double check, I... I yeah, it's from a Blood of Ball. Because I might try to charge the Spirits here as well. Mm-hmm. Is what I'm debating right now. How do you feel about that, Commander? Uh, it sucked. Yep. I, I think the real sucky part is the four missile launchers not doing anything to the hive guards, then the hive guard responded by overperforming <coughs> the Wraith Lord. Absolutely. It's, it's the double whammy right there that I'm really not okay with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did I cast Catalyst? I don't know. Yeah, you put on the Zoltorps. That was last turn. Oh, then I don't know. Who's got me? Uh, the Neurothrope does. I don't actually he know casted I cast Smite? Yeah, he casts Synaptic Lure, Smite, and then um, Onslaught. Onslaught, so no. Do you mind if I just not even do Synaptic Lure and just put Catalyst on him? It's fine by me. Cool, thanks. Okay. So we're not going to look up what that is. We're going to declare a multi-charge. It's going for the multi the anyway. Let me just see what I need to roll. Does he care about the force? He does. So oh. we're going to just charge the rates here. Oh, beautiful. And that will pass on a seven. All right. So we're going to go five inches. Mm -hmm. And that'll... Uh, Put him just right outside about. of the. Yeah, because the we'll just try to be outside heroic range of this character, mm -hmm. and then he's gonna just pile in. Well, he's I guess decide if I want to heroic my spirits here. Now that'll get my spirits here killed, but then it's not moving anywhere. That's um, true. No, I think I'm okay. Okay, and now I don't think I have any other charges I wish to declare. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and pile in. So right there, and we're not gonna base anyone yet. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna fiddle right. Ugh. Yep. He's just going to sit right here, and we're just going to see if we can put all of our attacks into this Wraith Seer. Now, this Wraith Seer is toughness 8, right? Yes. I think I'm going to spend a command point to reroll my wound rolls. Okay. So the big dice is the tail. Giving up a fight twice. Mm -hmm. Giving up a potential fight twice, because I really think I can kill it here. Yeah, that would suck. All right, rerolling hits. Oh. It's five hits. Five hits, okay. Fours. Yep, rerolling the wounds. Let's hope it stays like that. 
It's going to be just three, three invulns. And this is D3 plus three each? D3 plus three. Let me get some fives here. I got one five. Oh, I'm going to burn it. I'm going to burn a CP oh, here so hard. Big dice, it? big numbers. We got a five. We're only taking one of these things. All right. That is going to end up being four, four damage. damage. Five left. Race right. here, pound and Now, and... let's go ahead and take a strength check on that spirit here. Oh, he's going to be strong. Big dice, big numbers again. Well, I need a five here. You need a five. Your strength three? Right? Easy. Easy, John. Oh, here. See? see? I don't know what Nick was complaining uh, about. I was complaining, and the dice gods rewarded me. Like, Nick, you're okay. right. You're right. You know, John rolled good. Okay. You rolled bad. Let's make it even. Okay. okay. All right. Well, uh, we're just in combat. My pack? fancy handy dandy book. Sure. Thank just you. trying to figure out what rates you does in close combat. All right. We got go. four punchy punches. All and right. What is this guy going to do threes. back? We got one free reroll. So three hits. Okay. We are strength 10. So three's to wound. Cool. And we got one free reroll. Will be three wounds. Nice. And All right. Well, minus three. We'll now I'm taking my own five up in wounds. Let's see if mine are as good as Nick's. They're not. Is that's that okay. A, so I'll kill two. No, right. no, it's fine. Big dice, big numbers. So we are D3 plus three damage. Ooh. So that's four and four, eight damage. All right. We will go ahead and take eight female pains. Those. So I'll take five wounds there. So oh, this Demon Karen is down to 13 wounds left. Now I'm going to hit you with my spirits here, Stick. Two, one hit. Might be two hits. One wound. Okay. Um, does he get the rerolls as well? Take a save. He does get the rerolls as well. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. So one hit, and it's just one wound so far. Okay. I'll make the save. All right. Spears to your sick. Didn't do it, but that's not his job. All right. That's okay. That's okay. I will get my domination and my direct assault. And I'm going to score a 10. Mm. Yeah. And I'll just base both well. of them on the cons consolidates. Sure. Yep. Sure. I'll score yep, unfortunately, couldn't quite uh, kill that spirit here to try to contest the objective. That's right. okay. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. could you take some morale checks? I could. I got one Dire Avenger. He'd be a hero. He's not a hero. Ooh, He's the really warp good. fire. He but saw I'm what happened. Of that. I mean, he knows that the Flyrant's over there, and the Flyrant will not be stopped. The Flyrant's gonna be stopped. The Flyrant will not be stopped. Flyrant's being stopped. All righty. Okay, so I need to kill this thing because this that is, is true. really bad for me. I need to screen these dudes. Because they're also pretty bad for me. No, they're not so bad. Yes. They're just zoanthropes. They're pretty bad. Merely zoanthropes. Both vipers, though. Oh, yeah. Me I mean, two vipers? Like, what, what, could, what can men do against such reckless firepower? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. I think the play is to kill this thing. Mm -hmm. and But I also could, instead, just shift the whole focus of the battle and tie all that up. Ooh, very interesting. That would leave this thing alive and relies on passing a quick in. If I fail the quick and I'm stuck here, and this is a pretty wasted turn. Quicken quick in needs a seven, but there's chronos about, there's shadows in the warp, there's knives. Nice, it's not necessarily safe. Lots of units floating around the battlefield trying to make life a little bit harder for the Eldar. Mm -hmm. I am going to go up to three CP. Up to three. Yeah. So that is an interesting play, mm -hmm. but I think instead... We can, oh, I don't want to go backwards. I don't have much stuff left. Let's advance the Dire Avengers. Huh, advancing the Dire Avengers. Eight whole inches, not. All no. right, is this, now this is the last obsec unit that Nick has. That's true. We're both down to one, and I expect to lose mine in this turn. Uh, we're gonna make John have to work for it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, that Ripper squad's gonna just die on us pretty quickly. Do, do, do. All right, so yeah, Dire Avengers are trying to hide. It's not allowed to survive. Um, <clears throat> I think we need to catch the smites with these vipers for a minute. Okay, and we need to get this objective held. Oh, Nick knows that I'm not willing to smite the viper so that I can kill it with my uh, barbed uh, strangler. He's very clever on his part. He knows that the hive turret must finish this duel. Um, but that would be leaving my domination. Yep, now you do actually still hold that objective because of the mission. This is that mission, thank you. Yep. I always forget that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really important. Yep. Um, <laughs> All right, here come the Vipers. He's putting two models on it to tie me on the objective. So right now it's contested. Um, oh, you could just fly a Farseer up there. I, I could, yeah, that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move, I think we're going to fall back here with these Wraith constructs. They need to not die just yet. Mm -hmm. Um... I need to kill these stupid rippers too. I only got 16 inch range on the, uh, the, the guns there. Yeah, so that's the deny potential. Mm -hmm. 
This is why I was trying to bully with that zone throw up unit. I figured it would at least force Nick's psychic phase to be a little more careful. Mm -hmm. Spirit Seer is going to fall back. The Far Seer. Oh, man. Well, certainly these Dire Avengers could go up, I suppose. No, I know what we're going to do with this guy. What are they going to do? He's going to fall forward. Ooh, interesting. This is the Spirit Seer. That's the spirits here. We've okay. got plans within plans now. So we're going to get the Seer Council out of Deny Range, which is right there. Mm -hmm. He will do the casting. Cool. Moves the Council. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, we're going to charge this Dima Karen, but before we do that, we're going to shoot the crap out of these Rippers as best we can. How dare you? These Rippers are peaceful denizens of the hive mind. No, they're jerks. They are non combatants They are jerk faces. Incredibly impolite. How many uh, councils are, uh, are going to shoot it? It's going to be five. Five, 20 shots, especially if you manage to pass uh, Guide and Doom, potentially. Mm -hmm. That definitely could be enough to do the job. That would be the goal. Um, okay, then this Farseer <clears throat> also hopping out of deny range. Mm. Still trying to uh, trying to fight back here. Uh -huh. This Dima Karen, if it lives, it's going to be amazing. Raid Seer falling back. I should say when the Dima Karen lives. You know, to be more well, the Raid Seer could spend two CP fall back, shoot, and charge. Ooh, um, not bad. That could be good insurance for these Rippers. Yeah, um, makes a lot of sense. Does it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> makes sense to me, perhaps. We'll go up here. Just, just staying Ooh. just out of 24 with the one back model. I think that... Well, oh, Nick is thinking, John, how do you feel about these Ravener lists that we're seeing, especially in the Greek Hammer TTS League? I actually wasn't aware that we were seeing Ravener lists. There's like 27 Raveners, like three max units. I would need to look into that to find out what I'm missing. Because uh, I like Raveners a lot. They're a really cool unit, but I, uh, I haven't found them to be particularly useful other than the fact that they're very fast uh, and can go through walls. We're going to spend two CP for the Wraith Lord to fall back. Shoot, Ooh, the Wraith Seer is in action. Can't so, cast with this. Okay. But you can so it's in range to shoot two of the Rippers? Two of the Rippers in case I need to. I'm going to try to actually put you on the three because I want this unit gone. Okay, so that will leave the objective, but now he has potential shots into the unit. I figure he's going to have to charge back on anyway. <clears throat> yep. Okay. So let's do some shooting. Oh, these Warwalkers. Warwalkers, but they like to continue to duel with the Hive Guard. Yeah. Oh, he's not willing to concede to the hive guard yet. No, hive guard are jerk faces and need to go down. But we're gonna get out of range or line of sight of that X Queen, so I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Makes okay. sense. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some psychic face. Stuff. All right. We will. Uh, hmm, do I want to give myself plus one to cast? I think it's worth it. We'll give ourselves the last plus command one point. Cast. Oh my goodness. But then my seer council can get tied up, and I can't have that. So. We're gonna not. We're gonna Can wish go. we had not spent two CP on lightning <laughs> oh fast earlier, but we are where we are. <laughs> We're gonna start with dooming the Dima Karen from out of deny range. She passes on apparels. I will. Uh, oh, come on, just you're uh, not gonna take any wounds. That's true. Um, it takes none. Yay! Okay. I think by using runes, not the CP. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he'll hold off. Oh, he's gonna. He'll smite you here. All right. So this is the same guy. Same guy. Smite's on eight All right. for two mortals. Let's take those feeling pains. Big dice, big numbers. Ooh. Small, big dice, small numbers. Down to John's 11. Got no faith in the big dice, big numbers philosophy. Okay. We're going to go for the other farce here. Guide the council. Reroll both of those with runes. Failed on the first try, passes. but passes. All right. And then we'll force in the council because they got to survive. They're the council. It passes on a seven. Passes on a seven. Okay. So Four seers are done. Council will go. Council is going to go for protecting itself. Now I am yes, actually yes. going to think about this because you don't have any pluses to cast here. Mm -hmm. If I make you cast on one dice, you just can't pass the power. Yeah. And that would put them down to a four up invuln. Yeah. So just want to think about this a little more. Basically, am I going to try to kill the council next turn? Mm -hmm. And honestly, since they're probably going to charge into the demon carrier and kill it, I expect they're mostly going to be behind this wall. Honestly, I probably won't do enough damage. So okay. I think we're actually going to let you go ahead and cast. Trying to protect my council. Bale's on a six. Should have given myself Even plus one to cast. better. Now, do you want to use a command point, or are you going to save it for later? I think I need to save it. That was a decision I made, and we're going to stick with it. We're going to try to quicken that far spirits here. Bale's as well. No, that might be my direct self-domination. 
we will have to think on that. And mm -hmm. then, uh, oof, oof. Um, now we're gonna spend it. I need Quicken to go off of this plan to work. Quicken still fails. Fails on us. Terrible, floor. terrible things are happening. <laughs> and then we'll smite the demon Karen. Perils, perils, is, 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 and I take one mortal wound with the fortune. And I take a mortal wound. All right, one seer council member is wounded. <sighs> what a terrible turn. Okay, oh my let's goodness. turn that ship around. And I save two command points so I can interrupt with this demon Karen. No, he's dead. He's, he's dead. <laughs> we are going oh, to yeah. shoot the the five shuriken catapults that mm -hmm. can. And you did pass guide, right? I did pass guide and doom, and then five shuriken catapults here. Uh, all of the spears will go here as well. Ooh, the spears are definitely going to hurt this demon Karen. Um. Uh, so here are the spears. Mm -hmm. We got a ton of them. Three to hit. Three rolls. Wow. And uh, do these wound on twos? Wound on twos and doom. Oh my goodness. Will be that many armor saves. Now, I'm actually going to take my five of them. Wounds here. Oh, you're because trying to Because if the demon Karen die. dies, Nick mm. won't be able to charge, and the seer council will just be sitting where it is. Mm. Or because he can't fire and fade. So we're going to fail uh, that many. So it's eight up. sixty-three. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 feel the pains. Lord 14, must roll six, those. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm only going to pass through 4, so there's one wound left on the D. McCarran. Okay. All right, now let's, let's see what these uh, catapults do. 2, 3, 4, 5 catapults. 5 catapults. 3 to hit, and I believe guides in May, so I'm going to try not to reroll mm -hmm. here. Yep. If I accidentally kill it, it'll suck, but we're going to try. And fives to wound, two rends, and two armor saves. So we'll just take them all on the five of pinball? Yep. And we'll fail three of them. And will I fail a feel no pain? I will. So the okay. demon Karen's going to die. I, I figured with Doom and everything else. Well, let's see if he explodes. He explodes. Does not. Would have been nice. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, but the demon Karen's not one of my Wally Sandy fights, so I don't feel bad about him dying. And I'll, frankly, he was going to die very soon anyway. All right, here are the shuriken shots into three rippers. Let's oh, see. guided. Do it. Guide makes me feel great about this. Only I was protected or quickened. All right. And threes. Oh, boy. Ooh, almost a dice there. But it wasn't. Almost a dice. We're Sounds watching. like you're calling me the exterminator. So three rippers are going to take wounds and the whole pile of saves. All right. Six up saves, no problem. These rippers... Yeah, hold on. So that'll kill a ripper, kill a ripper, kill a ripper. It was right. a good effort. Mm -hmm. The rippers go down. They are bold and brave, but they are dead. Let's do some. This is the last of my objective security units. Crack missileage. Ooh, okay. Um, two downtown in the hive guard. Hopefully mm -hmm. we can roll not twos, three rolls, and two. Big dice, big numbers. What big dice, wound? big numbers. Three to wound. Three to wound. We did it! AP2! Right. Don't you do a six here. Do this not is, do a this six. This is a into high guard? That was the first one, yeah. Would a six save or a one damage be more painful? Just roll a die. Oh. Okay, here's your one. Here's the six. There's a six. Game. One hive guard goes down. Very tragic. The next Warwalker is going to go same place, same time. Two hits, double fours. I like to see it. Reroll the wound. One wound. Oh. The warp fire. The warp oh, fire. Stupid Warwalkers. <laughs> All right, let's do the Wraith Cannon Man. Wraith Cannon Man's gonna go into Zone Thropes. Okay. Three shots. Three hits. Nice. Three wounds. Three invulns. That's and what I'm hearing, three folks. Failed saves. What I'm seeing. Oh. Three invulns on the Zone Thropes. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna Bright Lance into Axicrin there through okay. the forest. Don't care. Try again. Hits. Ooh. Forest wound. Let's try one more time. One wound, AP four. Five up in vulnerable save. No, six damage. Six damage, give me a warp fire. Oh, oh, the Exocrine is wounded. Let's do the next one. Not like this. Hits. Wounds, All AP right. four. Five up in vuln. The Vipers. The Vipers. <laughs> Get off my table, silly Exocrine. Oh, the poor Exocrine. <laughs> Does it explode? It doesn't. <laughs> Oh, the poor Exocrine. What did he do to deserve he that? He deserved, that was for my Warwalkers. You know, only one small lighthearted LR vehicle can perform at its own. What time. did he do? Oh, he deserved that. That's what he did. Oh my goodness, the Bright Lances, folks. Beautiful. Doesn't right. get better than that. 
I think that's everything for me. So unfortunately, I am going to miss my direct assault and domination. You did get direct assault. You, you do get domination because you're holding three. Oh, I'm holding three. No, you're on. Are oh, you only one there? Oh no, I have no, two. So yeah, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking because you hold that no, one. That's but no. why I wanted yep. to quick in him there. You're 100 percent good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that means that I will get myself another five on primary. Yeah. Because that one is contested in the center. So I'm really going to need this uh, late game primary to bust me out here. But hopefully, I can keep Nick. To a lower primary score this time around. Let's hope not. If I can put something on that objective, maybe. Oh, no, no. Uh, he should Let's be at five. I just picked up two more big things, so that's going to be seven. Ooh, yeah, seven. Yeah. Should be All at right. five, he says. Yeah, it should be five. Mm. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking these zone throws need to be moving around to get onto this objective. I don't need to be moving anywhere. I think they do. Oh. I really think they do. Now, we may turn this into a little Dawn of War almost. Yeah, let's grab the gimbal. Great idea. All right, both of us are pretty down to the scraps, which is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Now I'm up to three command points. Well, we're just gonna check. We're totally gonna move these hive guard up and shoot at this. Uh, this. He's gonna be fine. Your hive guard are no longer the right, hive so guard. So all of them are within uh, 41 inches. So when I move five directly towards him, we're gonna make sure that they can all have range to shoot at this right here. Mm -hmm. What? A squad. These hive guard are absolute champions. This egg screen is going to hold still to try to go hunting for these war walkers. Hunting the war walkers. Hunting war walkers. I haven't done anything, unlike these vipers who've accomplished 18 damage to monstrous creatures. Mm hmm. <laughs> that they Viper, as right? they should be. Oh, yeah, I get to shoot those. I'm going to shoot them in your zone terms. You can't stop me. I'll do it after I'm done gimbling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just going to make sure that this Neurothrope can smite that one. Then uh, I think the Hive Tyrant may. All right. Let's roll some Viper time. Two Zone Throw is dead right here. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to say I use the rerolls to hit and wound on both of them, just because I don't mm -hmm. remember. Eight shots, eight hits. Eight shots, eight hits. Eight shots, six wounds. On the Zone Throw? On the Zone Throws. Oh, John saves. <laughs> oh, okay. Viper, come on. Uh, Viper Hype is real. It's like a Jack Bike. See, no. that, that's to be expected. No. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. All right, so the Swarm Lord is just going to move nine inches up. Yeah. We're going to get into these Vipers. He's not going to get anywhere. He's going to get into the Vipers. And these Zonthropes are just going to move five. All right, mm -hmm. now let's look up what Synaptic Lure actually does. Synaptic Lure, he says. On the char target, okay, that's all right. I think we're going to just try to charge and put a Zonthrope on that objective. You're going to charge the Vipers. Yeah, absolutely. Delicious. Don't see why I wouldn't. All right, this egg screen's good. This hive tyrant is feeling aggressive. I think he's coming up. The hive tyrant's coming up. We are going to make sure. We're gonna make sure that this thing goes down. All right, let's fricking do it. So we're gonna do some psychic powers. All right. We're gonna have uh, this little fellow. Um, I think um, I don't want to. I don't think I need to spend the command point to have him know everything. But honestly, it's just so cool. It is cool. It is pretty cool. Let me just see the deny range. I'd really love to pass onslaught here. I'm definitely in deny right range. Here. You know what? We're gonna spend the command point because I've never used the strategy before. And now I'm using it twice in one game. Amazing. Incredible. The Zerothrope knows everything. That Neurothrope knows all. He is all powerful. He's all knowing. Is he an all seeing annihilator? He could be if you wanted to. No, 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 He's eyes. going to cast you. Can't yes. see without eyes. Yeah, the, new, the new sculpt does. Well, I'm using the old. All right, sculpt. we're using uh, Catalyst, which will pass on an eight and we'll put it on the Swarm Lord. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to cast um, Onslaught. Uh, we'll actually just smite. And that'll pass on a 10. Yep. And that'll be one damage to the, uh, the Viper up front. Then um, I think we'll cast Onslaught which will pass on a nine. Mm -hmm. Now, if I put it on the Swarm Lord, he can advance and charge into the, uh, the, the Seer Council. Council. Mm -hmm. That's a, but honestly, even if I don't advance, it's actually merely a four inch charge. So I think I'm gonna put on the Hive Guard so that they ignore the penalty for moving and firing their heavy weapons. Well, I'm gonna try. Oh, also I get to deny all that. So here's the smoke. No, 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 this is all Oh, this is all him. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh my goodness, I used the Strat. It's I the cool the strat. strat. I remember. All right, now the, uh, Zone Throps are going to cast Mike. Mm -hmm. And that'll pass on an 8. I might as well try. And I blocked it on 12. It sure does. These Zone Throps have done <laughs> not much. The uh, the only other spell they know is Onslaught, which has already been cast. Yep. The Hive Tyrant will cast Smite. Mm -hmm. 
which will pass on a nine. Might as well try. Nope. And that'll be three wounds to the viper. Does it explode? No. All right, then it will scream at the other viper. No. That'll pass on a nine. Might as well try. Elevens! Jeez. You're rolling nines, this. I'm rolling elevens. All right, the Swarm Lord will cast Smite. This is my fourth Smite. Mm -hmm. That'll Not fail on a seven. You did an eight, and then he'll cast Paroxysm. Oh, no. Which will fail on a four. I like it. All right, shooting time. We're going to put... You know it's coming. I uh, know. No, no. um, actually, the Swarm Lord... No, no, he's already cast all his spells. All right, we're good. So let's do it. This Hive Guard, 10 shots into the Wraiths here. Yeah, not going to do it. It's going to do Hard it. Hitting shot. on threes. Wounded on fours. What is happening? That is four saves on the Wraith Seer. Math does say I should survive this. I yeah. want that to be on the record. Fails three, three, not, three not D3 looking three good. damage. No, no, no. That is five damage Five damage! damage. Yeah. No! Down he goes! Hiveguard cannot be stopped, Nick. I know. He, <laughs> he brought indirect weapons to a Hiveguard battle. Your Hiveguard cannot be stopped. Hiveguard cannot be stopped. Your Hiveguard. My Hiveguard cannot be stopped. <laughs> All right, then this Exocrine is going to put its uh, full volume into this front yep. Warwalker. It might as well have fours. Hitting on fours, only four three hits. Strong. Only three, you're hitting on fours. And that is <laughs> two, yeah. And one wound. Four so damage. Four damage. All right, we'll just do the second volume to the same Warwalker. Mm -hmm. That'll be rerolling ones. That'll be three more hits. All right, you're saying there's a chance. And Two more invulns. You're saying there's a chance. You're saying it happened. Exocrine's right. losing this war. All right. Hold on. There's still a Hive Tyrant. He's not doing anything. Hive Tyrant's going to shoot. He's not doing anything. He's going to shoot. He's not doing anything. Let me just see. I don't think he has line of sight to that yeah. Dervinger. Nope. It's not over him? Nope. Okay. That's fine. So we'll just go ahead and put it into the Sierra Council, see if I can pick him up for free. Six shots. Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes, because I don't have to go through the force for the whole unit. You can't see them. So you are shooting these models? Uh, it's not. Sure. Okay. Isn't that how that works? No, but that's fine. Okay. I didn't roll any threes, so it doesn't matter. We're just uh, wounding on threes, and that'll be one, a measly one invuln. Oh, for this to be the veil oh, it's a four. He's fine. Nick doesn't mind. All righty. And then um, the Swarm Lord is going to double move himself, so he'll just move a healthy nine inches. Healthy. Healthy nine inches. So we'll just end up to that same spot. We are going to engage into a duel, I see. We are going to engage in a duel with this pathetic Seer Council. It's pathetic. Pathetic Seer Council. Mm. Uh, pathetic Seer Council. No, no. All right, then we're going to do some charges. The Hive Tyrant into the Viper. I will overwatch. No. <laughs> you will not. No such thing. Four is enough. We'll do it. So he's going to just go right in there. Mm -hmm. And then the Zoanthropes. The Zoanthropes. Charging in. It will pass on a six. Oh, boy. They're gonna sneak around onto a different objective. The brains are coming. Th these are the big brain plays, folks. Big oh, no. brain plays. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes, this is What's beautiful. What's going on over here? Oh, the zone no. throps are coming. No, not a line objective. Oh yeah. With a pile and consolidate moves, we're gonna take that objective away from Nick and get my own domination. Isn't it beautiful? All right, the Swarm Lord, can he do it? On a seven, he can. Seven, he can. Ooh. We're just gonna sneak. Ooh, I don't like it. All the way over here. I don't like it And I all. think the Swarm Lord will be my first activation. No. Oh yes, he will pile in three inches over here, and we'll just engage this uh, one more walker. No. The Swarm Lord. Will not be cowed. Mr. Swarms. And because, uh, and you don't have um, fortune or protect up right now, right? I do right? have fortune. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. He was out of zone range and passed. All right. Well, we're still going to hit them, and we're going to kill at least one bike. Mm -hmm. Bare minimum. He hopes. I believe. Oh. All right, here we go. Hitting on twos, mm -hmm. wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. Hitting on twos. Six hits. Yeah, I got that. Uh, tail attack two. Tail attack hits and wounds, so one tail attack. And then four intervals. So one tail attack. One tail. Good. Okay. Four intervals. Fails two. Two. Three damage. First one is barely going to kill that guy. Oh. And the next one is not going to kill the next. So then, wouldn't it wound him and then kill the next guy? Because he only took one wound, right? He took one, so he dies. Oh, I thought he had one. Oh, no, left. sorry. So he had two left. And yeah. And he took so one, then he and then he took dies. it and died. Aha. Perfect. A mere Thank one you. seer council. No problem. 
All right. And then we will do the Hive Tyrant into the Viper. Mm -hmm. Here it comes, folks. The monstrous Rending Claws. This Viper doesn't have a chance. Three hits this with the Rending Claws. He's the Viper. It is toughness what? Toughness five. Okay, so it's going to take 3d3 wounds. That will kill it right Does there. Does it explode? Oh, no. If only. No. Oh, and then God. the zone thropes will activate, pile into the objective. Piling into the objective? Yep. Just no. going to take away the domination point from Mr. Nick. Man, I don't like that. I'll still get the domination point. All right. Take, take away that the primary. objective. Take away the primary. All right. And then uh, the, he's just going to base the Warwalker on the Seer Castle. I'm going to kill him. Ooh, bold strategy. One, two, three. Looks like five will get to attack okay, you. Okay, so merely ten attacks. I think the Swarm Lord's got this, no problem. And he has mm. Catalyst up, so we are good to go, I hope. He thinks he's good to go. I think I'm good to go. All right, can the Swarm Lord get it done? Ten attacks, hitting on threes. Ooh. Good ten start. Ten hits, Only very nice. On twos. Nope. Four six wounds. <laughs> All right, three up in wounds from the Swarm Lord. Fails two. All right, two to three damage, no problem. Right. No problem. Four damage. Merely four damage. Let's take some feeling pains here, folks. Takes six, two. two of them. All, All right. right, the Swarm Lord holds on with ten wounds. And here's the War Walker kicks. No. Oh boy. Free reroll. One hit. Free reroll. No wounds. No wounds. Oh. No wounds from the War Walker. I say. All righty. All right, so that's going to give me a five on primary. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to one CP. John will get his domination direct assault. Yep. And that'll be that. All right, and most importantly, tying up that Seer Council was a huge deal. Yeah, I really wish I had not spent that one CP. Probably not wise, but we did what we did. Mm -hmm. We're going to consolidate the three All here. Right. Here comes the Seer Council. And now, very much in my deny range, are you thinking of trying to leave the Seer Council alone and just buff them? Or um, trying to break out? I think we... Hmm, that's a great question, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's get that gimbal. Show off what each army has left. We have really battered each other a lot. We're both running low on the resources. Definitely. I'm hoping that the Swarm Lord here is going to be a, an absolute boss and tank this entire Seer Council for the rest of the game because he's a while we stand, we fight, yeah, and I need him to live. I don't like that. I think we're going to need to fall back here. We can cast into combat, then fall back. We'll see. We'll probably do something like that. Now, can you fall back with Quicken? Yes. Doesn't it just say make a move? Oh, is that how that works now? Yeah, because they did FAQ mm. that. Because I actually, I think this actually affected It'll the Swarm advance, as well. Uh, 12 inches. All right, nice Dire Render Squad moving up. Now with the Fire and Fade, are you thinking of potentially? Maybe, but I kind of need that CP to get me out of the jam I'm in later mm -hmm. when I get two CP back for the... Ah, that makes sense too. Mm -hmm. So we will consider that possibility. We've got the Dire Vendors up top. We've got two Farseers on bikes. As well as this nice conclave and two war walkers right here. This war walker is definitely mm -hmm. going to fall back and outside onto the of objective. Heroic in case I do fall back there. Yep. Um, Wounded war walker still hanging on strong. This one. Um, How fast are war walkers? I think eight. Nice. Um, might be nine even. Ooh, look at I'm that. Probably just going to shoot this flyer. Nick thinks that a random D6 damage weapon can kill another one of my monsters. I know. At this point, I'm actually not going to be surprised. I know. Uh, it can happen. Because I believe. So we're going to... All right. Check for those pesky, pesky hive guard. Give me 41 to them. Definitely don't want to be shot by hive guard here. That'd Ooh. Be bad. Well, what are you trying to hide here? I'm trying to uh, do some executioner and smite plays into this thing. Okay. Trying to deal with the swarm lord. Did you want to um, check 41? Yeah, I'm at a 41. Okay. Over here, I could sack the Farseer, um, which doesn't sound good. Um, wouldn't be able to doom him. Don't need to doom him. Wound him on twos right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to go for the firing play, play, so I may as well just put the shots here. Um, All right, try to clear off that Hive Tyrant if possible. Yeah. The Spirit Seer, Ooh. if he tries to charge the Zone Thropes, it could work, but I don't love Bold. it. <laughs> it could work. It could work. It could work. Um, <clears throat> keep this nice and contested. Uh, I think we need to keep this nice and contested. All right, out comes a Farseer. He's probably going to die there, but I don't see a better play for him. Mm -hmm. But he could be quite annoying for me. For sure. That's what we're going to try to annoy John. Um, 
Honestly, we'll put him on the objective instead of off of it. Mm -hmm. Now, does that bring him within 41? It might. That's a great point. You have her here -ish. Yeah, it, it does. like it does. So we'll go back over here because we don't want to die. All right. Now, you do hold that objective anyway because of the mission roll. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I... Is this the LVO when you first see the Jedi? It is not. This, was, this used to be a shining spear from the LVO winning army. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just been degraded. Uh, let's see. I would like to cast Quicken, honestly. Who are you thinking is the best target for Quicken? Probably the Dire Avengers. Okay. Um, the other option is you just walk forward, and I try instead of dealing with Swarm Lord right now to, uh, to deal with the Flyrant. <gasps> that I think tyrant. I like that better, to be that honest. That Hive Tyrant did nothing to you. He's done a lot to me. That's true. It's been quite a problem. All right. Shadows is 12 or 18? 18. Okay, so if I want to be in Spite Range, I will be in Shadows Range. I don't mm -hmm. like that. That's just reality, though. Um, so I think we're going to go for that. Yeah, All right, here doesn't... comes the Spirits here. Can the Hive Tyrant live? I really need it to. All right, let's do some Psychic Phase stuff. Okay. Um, we will start off with... The Seer right. Council is going to protect itself. Ooh. Minus one to Passes cast. On a nine. We're going to try to stop that. We'll have the Swarm Lord use one of his denies. Okay. He will deny it on an oh, 11. God. They are unprotected. Oh, you just did it to me. You're all nine, I roll 11. We're going to do a quick in on these uh, Dire Avengers. All right. Which passes on a fails. Fails on a six. Of, uh, the shadows. shadows in the warp. And they'll go for a smite into Swarmy. All right. The first smite goes on an eight because of shadows. I'll uh, deny that with a Swarm Lord as well. Try. And we will not Fail. deny it. D6 mortals. All right. Is it a one this time? Ooh. It's a spinner. A spinner for a one! Oh, oh, I can feel no pain. It didn't make oh, sense! Oh, oh, oh. The Swarm Lord cannot be stopped. So, okay, we got more plays here. We're gonna use our Warlock, our Spirits here, here to jinx the Flyrant. All right. And we fail on a we're gonna re-roll for our Seer of the Shifting Decker Warlord trait. Still fails on a six. Oh, the Hive Tyrant might live. We're gonna doom the Flyrant from our Farce here, which passes on a nine, goes we'll to an eight. Deny it with the Zone Thropes. That will Doom not. does go off. So I think I'm just thinking about the CP reroll. I'm thinking about a CP reroll here. Mm -hmm. I think we'll let it go. Okay. All right. The so we've <clears> smited <throat> you once so far. This one will go for a smite as well. Okay. I do still have a deny. Passes on eleven goes to a big smite down goes to with 10. ten. So still so ten. You, and other than that, you just have executioner. I have executioner and guide. All right. Oh, and fortune. I think that's a big one. So we'll let it go. Three, Three the flyers. The flyrant is badly wounded, and folks. We could actually get him here. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go for uh he is going to guide the Avengers. Okay. Which passes on an eleven, goes to a ten. Goes to a ten. Hmm, I don't know if I can realistically stop that at this point. So mm -hmm. we're gonna let it go and try to deny one more spell later. And we'll fortune the Seer Council. Who's casting fortune? Uh this guy has smite, guide, fortune. No, I did this backwards, I'm cheating. Um, we will not do that because we're out of fortune range. We will try to executioner the zone ropes. All right. Passes on a nine. I'll try to deny that. We will not. First one, let me get a three. No, just All one right. more. Wounds a zoanthrope. Unfortunate. My Wallaby stands are the Swarm Lord, the zoanthropes, and the Hive Guard, the absolute champion's Hive Guard that I do have. Let's start with the uh, the easy stuff. We're actually gonna we're gonna wound the zoanthrope on the far end. Okay. We will start with the easy stuff here. Okay. Um, so that one will then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nine, twelve. We will do both missiles into the flyer. All right. This hive tyrant needs to make his money work. Two hits and threes. Reroll. Two wounds. Two invulns. Makes both oh. the warp fires be with me. All right, he is doomed though. So he is doomed. Dire Avengers, Dire Avengers have a chance. Totally get him. Threes to hit, and I am guided. You are guided. I decided not to deny that because he cast it pretty well. All right, beautiful. Good. Very nice. Fives to wound, the sixes will rend. Yep, these rends are going to be the big thing here. Doom, thankfully. Yep, good start. All right. 
Hopefully we get him three rens, three armors. All right, let's do the three rens first. Mm -hmm. This might be enough. He fails two. two, three armor saves. The spinner. He does not fail. He's down to one. one. wound left. No. Oh my goodness, the hive tyrant. Here's the farseer shooting into the zone throps there. Okay. Now the question is, now this has happened, do I accept it in Fire and Fate? I think I'm still locked into this plan, but I hate it. I'm not protected or forged, and the council's gonna go down. Oh no! <sighs> Open I would secure my domination and still miss me direct assault. I'm not getting direct assault this turn, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm gonna hold on to the CP. Hold me on to the command point. So we'll do the farce here. Will be four, four hits. hits. Very nice. And two wounds in the zone throws. All right, two three up invulns. We do make them both. The zone throws hold strong. Oh boy. Okay, uh, I think we are we are done with life. No. <laughs> oh no. Let's oops. Let's do some charging. All right. Um, who dares? I don't think there is much. The spirit seer can charge, so he will. Who charge the hive siren? Oh, one wound left. You're doomed. It's such an epic move. We're gonna go for. Oh my goodness! Mm. Can it get done? We're gonna do it. Oh my goodness! We're Into the it. hive siren. We're gonna do it. No way. This this cannot be allowed to happen. Boink. Let's get this on the gimbal. All right. Spirit seer is gonna big dice, big number bonk you. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this little speech of that man one LVO right here. He's the ITC champion. One here wound left at him. on the high Big firing. dice, big numbers, two hits. I need twos to wound. Uh, two two doesn't wounds. Doesn't he hmm? not have the wound on two weapon? I thought he does. Spirit stick. I'll reroll this if I need to with Doom. So one save for right. sure, two yeah, what, saves What maybe. does this thing do in combat? It doesn't matter. It's enough to do a save. <laughs> yep. Uh, can we get the... He makes the first one if it's AP dash. Uh, all right. Uh, what's the spirit seer do, Seeks? <laughs> all right. I make He's the second. Make if the, they're AP dash, they, we're good. They're probably AP dash. Watch the spirit seer be AP one. Would that not be suit. incredible? No. I don't spirit know. steer stick. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a spirit staff. I don't know. Spirit seer stick. Spirit seer stick. What does this thing do in combat? Witch staff, user, zero AP, two damage. What are you doing that All right. See, John's confused. All right, but I made both my three up saves. The Hive Tyrant lives. Swarmlord doing his thing. Swarmlord, let's get it done. Now, I really want to do as much damage to this council as possible right now. That would suck. Um, I could always try to spend one command point to reroll wounds and then maybe use a CP on the uh, hit roll. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? Let's let's get this moment in here. Let's have the Swarmlord reroll his wounds. Oh, boy. Hitting on twos, all hits is a good mm -hmm. start. Wounding on twos, we'll just reroll the one with that command point. That'll be six invulns. Six no corpse. jinx or protect. Needed it. Four to go down. All right, boink, and then boink, a boink, tail boink. attack. Not the tail. Hits. Wounds. Saves. Saves. All right. Okay. We will uh, activate the council. All right. Can the swarm lord stay strong? Threes to hit. All right. Let's We're on two wounds this time, maybe. Uh, six. All right, three up armors. Swarm Lord needs to be strong here. Fails three. three. I'm just gonna let it go. I've got my catalyst. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Uh, four damage. All right. He yeah, takes, takes three, three down to seven. All right, he's getting wounded. Swarm Lord's getting wounded. I'm hoping he can just stay strong here. And we're gonna wrap him up. <gasps> Incredible. It's more try pointing <clears throat> at the Tyranids. Incredible. That's all right. We're gonna get in there. All right, let's have the Hive Tyrant. He's not doing it. All right, yeah, I think it's on fours now. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Rerolling wounds with his claws. Actually, that was already one because you're starting mm -hmm. top of three. So that'll be three invulns. They're all going to be D3 damage. Okay, three invuls. Who is the cocked? Oh my goodness. And he fails two. two. All right, you're, you're good. Two D3 damage. He's how many wounds? He is four. All right. That's four He's damage. He's gonna go down and we're gonna trigger the Phoenix Gem! Oh my goodness. Oh, the two up the flyer and takes damage. It does, the flyer and takes enough mortals and dies! Oh my goodness. And the does... Zothropes take damage and take three mortals and get off my objective! Right, hold, Domination, hold, hold, hold. direct it assault! A one inch or? I think it's three. Uh, <laughs> I, I meant to get within so what? Phoenix Gem, but I thought it was three, which is why I didn't say anything. Oh, interesting. Let's check the Craft World's book. Well, let's see if the Hive Tyrant explodes. Oh, that's true, too. He, he doesn't. 
The all Phoenix right. Gem's finally done something on all the games the on this channel. The Tyrant is slain by the Phoenix Gem. Within three. Friend within, within three, three. gets the zone to get off my objective. Oh my goodness. What a twist. What a plot twist. Spirit what Steer with the Spirit Stick doing the Lord's work. Oh my goodness. And is the Spirit Steer still alive with one wound left He's now? He's alive with a wound left. He might oh be able to T3. All right, well, um, I'm going to spend my command point on uh, implant attack, and we're going to try to kill this uh, Spirit Steer. Well, hold on. We're not in combat. No, I just when I wounded you, I just do an extra wound on a two plus. Let's find out how many wounds I have. Seeks, how many wounds do I have left? Is it one or D three? He's being a plus. The Phoenix gem. He's wacky Eldar. Can you do that? Can you implant after Are you, I explode? Did you? Ex I mean, you have a model I, there. This is obviously technical wording. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know what the Phoenix gem says in combination with implant attack. So maybe I can, maybe I can't. Is all I'm saying. Um. Mm -hmm. um, this is we're getting interesting here. But this model remains in play with a single wound. If no mortals are inflicted, this model is slain. All right, dead mortals. Okay. So when, when is the trigger point? When do I you check when this model is slain? It, the first time this model is slain. And then when does implant attack happen? After, uh, after I uh, wound an enemy model, I roll a dice on a two plus. If a non-vehicle enemy model, if I wound you, I roll a dice on a two plus. You take a mortal wound. So after I take my saves. Yeah. So after after I inflict damage. Okay, should work, I guess. I think so you're not here anymore. No. So you can't use a strat on the model that's not here. Like, it's, I, not, I, I, it's a strat I use when one of your models takes damage. Seeks, I need an impartial arbitration. Oh my goodness. Pull up. Let's let's do back to swarm lord stuff. Is there anything to be done here? No, we're we're okay. just gonna. You owe me a morale check. We are. Uh, we lost four. four. We are leadership nine. Is there a warp fire? No. no. Okay. That's All right. Would have been nice. This is getting weird, folks. So while Siegs is looking that up, John, it would be your turn. Why don't you just do a little recap? Wow, that one was wild. That was that was the wild turn we needed. Mm -hmm. What a wild Nick world. Nick doing the gotcha with the spirit the stone. Gotcha. The gotcha. I told you we had it. And you said, I don't care. I'm going to kill him anyway. That's what you said when that is, the Those are words that I did utter at one point yes. in this game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So... Okay. Killed a zone right. throw. So here's implant attack. Mm -hmm. Use this stratagem after a tyranid unit from your army fights in the fight phase. Roll a d6 for each enemy model um, other than vehicle that was wounded by any of the unit's um, attacks and not slain. On a 2+, plus, the model suffers a mortal. Boop. Be used after fights in the fight phase. It's dead after it fights in the fight phase. Then my whole argument is can you use a strat on someone that's I mean, not there? I mean, they both happen after I fight so I can choose them at the same time. Well, so it's that, my turn. So. It's not. Oh, it is your turn. Ooh. This is interesting. See, I need an impartial arbitration. Impartial please. ruling. What do we got? This is a weird fun one. This is a weird one. We need it quickly, though. Uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, the, you can't use the implant attack. Can't use and, the implant attack? And the spirit seer sticks the landing. Oh, my goodness. All right. So what a guy. I am not going to get, I am going to get domination. I'm not going to get direct assault. Yep. Um, so three points there. And I killed another big baddie. That's up to eight on eight the... on thin the ranks. Ooh, and I'm gonna get another five on primary. Mm -hmm. All right, I need to punish Nick for the, the temerity of existing. All right, the storm lord's gonna stay put. This is easy. We're gonna shoot this uh, silly warwalker to pieces. No, there's an execrine. There's hive guard. This this farseer dead, gone. Farseer's no chance. Farseer's gonna survive like a Not champion. Not a he is. chance. I just another five. So we're going to go ahead and advance the Neurothrop. Mm-hmm. Oh, an epic 11 inches. This has been a bloody, bloody game. I missed Direct Assault again, but I got Domination. Eight. Up to eight. I'm, Not I'm too a shabby. Couple away, a couple infantry models away from a ninth. I don't... Oh, yeah, I guess if you wipe the Hiveguard, yeah. Because I got six Rippers. Yep. And a Zold Rope. So that's six, seven, eight. And two infantry models away from a ninth point. Alrighty. Or Swarm Lord. He's a one. We we're I'm up, one to one. Uh, I go up to two because I uh, didn't spend one on the implant attack. Ah, true, true, true. All right. Can the Hive Guard get some shooting action into maybe this Farseer? Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, right now it looks like three Hive Guard can shoot at that Farseer. So I think mm -hmm. we'll leave it at that. Okay. Not moving the unit. Not right. going to move. Ones. Nope. Okay. All right. Want to stay stationary here. Although, actually, it would only be giving me reroll ones because I'm going to have a minus one to hit for not shooting uh, the closest visible model with my uh, instinctive behavior anyway. Mm -hmm. So I could always just move them just to have uh, the rest of the shots. And I think we're going to do it. I'll do it. I think we're going to do it. All right. 
Now that I've run out of Wraith Seers to kill, I just want to kill, yeah, like... Yeah, and the casually just blowing on my Wraith Seers. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's average, so mm -hmm. it's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Getting all five five guard in range. The Ice Crane will hold still. But now we have enough command points to fire twice to kill this pesky Farseer. Can farseer. it be done? No, no, no. Oh, yes, I think it can. He's all right. Fine. Let's get ourselves into the shooting phase. You got it. Let's actually do a psych phase first. Oh, okay. The Neurothrope. It was in deny range of the whole party. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll cast Smite. Stopped. My big dice. Pass big on numbers. a five. Goes the six. We will use. Does he have other scary powers? We'll use the Spirit Steer 6. He'll be dead if I fail us. Okay. And I get a free roll for Spears of the Sick New Vector. Oh, no D3 wounds oh, will kill him. kills him. You did great, buddy, though. You killed him. All right. Next up, he will cast Catalyst. Mm -hmm. Which will pass on a 7. We'll try with a Farseer. Block it on an 11. Block it on an 11. Interesting. Okay. That's all right. And then we will go ahead and uh, have the... Um, Zoanthropes declare a smite. Mm -hmm. There we go. Passing on a box card Ooh, 12. Oh, you're gonna take that? I am, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna take? Take one, one mortal. Oh, I can't stop it, so that sucks. All right, um, we'll just put it on um, that far guy. The far guy on yep. this objective? Actually, we'll put it on uh, this one. On this back end, this yep. objective. And okay. then we will uh, do 2d3 mortal wounds mm -hmm. into that far Oh, zero. Zoanthrope weird rules. What's that? Zoanthropes have weird rules. They do. Yeah. That'll be four mortal wounds to the far side. I do block it on fives because I am Eldar Cheatery, and I take four. All right, I like to see that. Ouch. The Swarm Lord will cast Smite, mm. which will pass on a nine. We'll use this farce here. Yep. And oh. I'll reroll the three into a fail. That'll be one mortal wound that to these pesky. I can live with. Pesky, pesky Seer Council. Mm -hmm. And then um, he'll cast Paroxysm. So perils. perils. Pass. That's okay. He'll right. take himself two wounds down to five, down to five. but the Seer Council is now fighting last. But he's degraded. It's true, so he'll be wounding them on threes instead of four, instead of twos. I may have to spend a command point to reroll my wounds again. No less attacks? No less attacks, and it still hits on twos, which is mm. nice. Um, so I think then... Actually, Seeker, can you check and see if the Swarm goes down to five attacks? Now that you say that, I think he does. But uh, we'll, if you, Seeker can just double-check that. Did, I believe you. I believe he does. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that'll be it for my shooting phase. So Is I think that phase? the exit screen yeah. is going to go into this wounded war walker. Mm -hmm. He must die. No. All right, we're rolling ones. Five hits. He does go from six, five, four. Thank you. Four invulns on the war walker. Like a champion. Down no. it goes. Does it explode? No. Ah, would have been nice. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll just put the next volley into the next war walker. Mm -hmm. That will be. Four hits. Oh, the, the forest. forest. That'll be one invul. One invul, four left. All right, the Warwalker lives a little bit longer. Uh -huh. Now we're going to put every shot from the Hive Guard into that wounded Farseer. Makes sense to me. Can it happen? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my lines. <laughs> All right. Hitting on stat. Ooh, five invuls. Five invuls. Oh, this is it. Four to five this of them. This is done. Easy. Easy! Oh my goodness! Five out of oh, five in vulnerable get saves. Out of here! Incredible! All right. Nick never rolls well. Nick never, never rolls, rolls well. <laughs> well, I think there's only one thing left to do. Report it. Spend two command no. points and do it again. Here come the hive guard. All right. No only ones. three hits. Oh, it's gonna happen. Three, two, two invuls. Make them both. Makes one. I can't. Oh, I could. Oh, man. This oh, is... man. Is it worth the reroll? <sighs> it's such a bad reroll, but it makes me feel so happy. Oh, it's not worth it. Roll. Give me a one or a two. He gives me a one. I have a one left. Oh, All the right. Farseer. We are gonna... That was the hive guard I know and love. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That Farseer. What a champion. Oh. They Look thought they were a new hive guard mm -hmm. coming out to play, killing race seers like it's yeah, no own business. No problem. Sometimes right. they can still do well, that. Well, um, let's go ahead and get to that uh, fight phase. I'm not going to card any chargers. So I'm charges? just going to choose the swarm board. Sounds good. And we will uh, go ahead and just swing. See if we can finish off these darn, uh, darn little guys. Darn little, darn little warlocks, whatever they are. Darn that will be three, three. four invulns. So take the tail and then... Here's my tail. Tail's good. And then three more. Three, three. more invulns. Kills one, kills the wounded, the wounded guy. So four, four councils left. All right. I believe at a four-man council, I'm at medium strength, but Siegs, if you could double check that for me. Indeed. Um, All right. Here are my stick attacks. That's not enough dice. Mm. I have two more to roll. Okay. 
All right, three hits. Not the best hits. Wounded on twos. twos, though. Two wounds. Two saves. Double one. Snake eyes. 2d3 damage. Two snake damage. Snake eyes. Round to three. We just both love our snake eyes this we turn. Do. We All do. All right, that will do for me. And that'll actually deny me domination, so I'm only going to get direct assault. Absolutely. All right, so I can cast two powers. And that's All right. cool. And uh, Nick will get another five on primary and go up to two command points. Mm-hmm. All right. I I like that. Very interesting. Now I, I just need to make sure these Wobby stands die. Uh, A five on primary for Nick. I think I'm going to spend two CP for my Seer Council to fall back and act normal. Ooh, okay. Can't cast, but can shoot and charge. I just direct assault. Yep. So I've got, I should have a nine on domination to 12 on direct assault, I think. Zero CP for the Tyranids. They're going to need a 15 of primary at the end to try to pull this one out. There's this no is a nice game, though. That would not hurt either. I really wouldn't mind. No Catalyst here. No ca well, Catalyst, um, did you deny it? I denied it. Okay. You rolled a six. That, that was it, yeah. Point. Uh, oh, yeah, that's my one dice. All right, the Warwalker. He honestly doesn't need to hold this. Uh, I think no. I'd rather hit you on threes. We'll come back to that. Okay. Trying to kill the Swarm Lord with a Warwalker? No chance. There's just nothing but twos coming. Warwalkers are what kills Swarm Lord. That's a well known fact of life. Mm, I don't believe it, folks. Don't believe it. So this is Doom, Executioners here. Let's leave ourselves with 16 of Swarm Lord and 12 in case I want to shoot backwards as best I can. Mm -hmm. And we'll give ourselves a nice, easy charge into that Neurothrope in case. Ooh. Charging a Neurothrope? It's uh, very unfortunate. One Spear's not doing anything. All right. It could be doing everything, though, so we'll leave the option open. <laughs> All right. Can it get it done? Um, Only four Warlocks left in this little conclave. Let's uh, let's move the Avengers. I think okay. just moving so I can still keep my options open for charging is yeah. good. Do go right. the, the last obsec unit here, is it going to be enough? Oh, it's going to be enough. Is it going to be enough? It's going to be enough. Is it going to be enough? I don't um, know. I don't know about that. Shadows is 18, you sure? 18, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we do want the Executioner to go here. Mm -hmm. We'll put ourselves in that magical equidistance bot so I can smite or Executioner wherever Ooh. I see fit. All right. Bold. Let's see if it pays off for that one wound Farseer. And he'll be smiting here, of mm -hmm. course. And then the Warwalker. Holding that objective literally does nothing for me. Except for limits what you can hold in your turn, sort of, but you can move advance to it. Yep. And you're not firing. Uh, Think, Plenty of options there. To just shoot at best capacity. All right. We're so, both down to the bones. We're down. both down to the nubs trying to finish each other off. Down to the bones. What are you nubs. thinking here? Uh, I think everything I got is going to go into Swarmy. All right. I think Swarm Lord's going to have to live. We're going to uh, make it happen. We're even going to go all the way over here. Oh, my goodness. Utterly bold. Yeah. In case you're Absolutely charging. bold. So let's do some psychic face stuff. We will start with this dude smiting swarms. Okay. We will reroll. All right. Runes. Into one seven. All right. We'll deny it with uh, just swarms. We'll deny. Okay. Uh, we'll not oh, deny it. So right. that's a smite. Smite for three, and he's out of here. And he explode. Does not matter to me. Doesn't really know. The swarm lord down to a smite. That's, that's painful. That's disgraceful. Oh my goodness. We'll go for an executioner into the zonthropes. Okay. Which will. Use runes on. Is this the same guy? This is a different guy. Oh, okay, so he's done casting? Uh, I guess he'll cast Guide before I forget. Okay. Uh, which would fail because I used runes. All right. And we will do a Doom onto the Zones ropes. All right. We'll use runes on everybody. Everything's failing, but. But you did swarms. smite the Swarm Lord, so swarms. a good start. And that does limit my Wall Beast Enemy fight to at most a 10. Definitely. Maybe less if he can finish off the Zone Throp unit. Yes. Now I really am hoping that they can hold on. Start off with uh, the four spears here. Okay. Do, 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 into the zone throps. Into the zone throps. And they're not guided. Two hits and two wounds. All right, let's get some three up in Vulns. Make both. Nice. That's a good start. One, two, three, four Only shurikens. Four shuriken weapons. All right. Good thing that he failed guide. The Shadows of the Warp came in clutch for me. And then fours. Strong wounds leading on that doom, though. All right. Three ups. We will fail one, oh, and nice. you denied Catalyst. Zoanthropes are proving to be as unkillable as always. Oh, yes. The lovely Zoanthropes. Well, let's, uh, let's try the Dire Avengers at them. All right. This may be it. Better be. Oh, no. Right. Good hits. Wounded on fours. Can they live? 
Uh, just two, merely two. Oh, they did as much as the whole council. <sighs> the wounded zone throat goes down. There's three left. We'll do a two crack missiles downtown into the zone throat. Oh my goodness, no, no. Two hits. No. And two wounds. Make both. Oh. The three up in wounds oh. are strong. That's okay. We'll charge the Avengers into the zone throats. All right. Three inches is plenty. I don't think I'll kill him, but I will uh, tie him up. Yep. And hide out from behind this wall. Ow. Oh, darn. And uh, then we'll do the spear council here. What are you thinking? I think the zone throats are the while we stand. There's three of them, but the yeah. lowest rope. Only three failed saves to kill. Oh, it's a tough choice. I don't want anybody advancing. And he's cracking or is he Kronos? Uh, cracking. So he can go fast. Uh, he cannot use the CP to advance and double advance. He cannot double advance, but he no. can double move. He could double move, but anyone can double move. Anyone can double move. Can you, do you have to advance if you double move? Uh, in the second one, yes. Okay. So, so it would be a fallback and then a double move. So he can go places. John's probably going to get the 15, I think. Um, I'm hoping I've got enough. So he can hope. We're gonna we're gonna go for the Neurothrope. I think that's All right. the play. And oh, do I want the zone throat? No, Ooh, I, I could have just, just the Neurothrope. Just the Neurothrope. Just the Neurothrope. All right, Neurothrope has to live. Very simple, folks. We'll base him so nothing funky. Neurothrope must live. He might. We know we're gonna use big dice for big numbers. No, no chance. Big dice, big numbers. We need threes. All right. Oh, the last minute! No. We're tied. Oh my oh. goodness. And two is, oh, he's going to call me the exterminator. Four oh, wounds. Oh, small Just fail dice. some of these. Small dice. Big numbers. Fails two. Two, this could do it. No Give me way. a five. Five damage. Get that oh, neurothrope the neurothrope out of there. The goes down. That's big. That's big. Oh, sorry about the clapping. Yep. <laughs> All right. Still good from the Seer Council. <laughs> Um, oh boy. Okay, we'll just punch these Neurothropes, these Zonthropes with the Avengers. No. I don't have that many attacks. I have like this many attacks. Okay, three hits and one save for the Zonthropes. Makes it. Okay. Alrighty, wow. That should just about do it for me. Alright, so now. I will get that Direct Assault, I'll get that Domination, mm -hmm. and um, that's gonna be it. So John's right. turn five. Now I've got a ten on while we stand. We fight locked up. I need to make sure that I get enough primary points to get back into it. Now I would like to get direct assault as well. Mm -hmm. uh, thin the ranks. He got the Stormlord, so that should be uh, one more. One and more. I got the Neurothrope and a Zonethrope, which is one more there. And on while we stand, we fight. Mm. And then, and then includes. Oh, that then includes. That includes. So you need the fifteen. Oh, I need a fifteen. 15 to tie. Or, and I'll, or I'll need a direct assault domination for the win. Oh, true, true. So I think what I have to do is fall the, the uh, zone throws back onto mm -hmm. the center objective and then kill Nick off of it. That would be sad. Can I pull it off? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. So maybe should have moved the Warwalker after maybe, all. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. All right. So if the zone throws just fall back, I'll be on the objective, but mm -hmm. I'll have to kill uh, a couple of these. Um, I'll gain one command point here. Yep. One command point. This does matter. All right. It's like one zone throw can make it to the objective? Yeah, I think only one. So I'm going to need to wipe out the Seer Council. Or I can stay put, try to get a really nice smite. But that's a... Uh, oh, you know, the zone, th zone throws are going to fight you. Let's, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Let's, let's do that. We're just going to pile him in, in since I think he'll still be within five of the objective. Okay. Uh, he's not going to fight anyway, but just two guys are going to headbutt you. Sure. So if I can headbutt two Dire Avengers to death here, it'll be the best day of my life. Let's do it. Let's do it, Zoanthropes. One hit. Ace. Strength four? I think they're strength four. A... Take a save and it, it does, does matter. Okay. Well, I don't think they're strength three. All right. It seems low. <laughs> Might be a dead Dire Avenger. I yeah. think I'm just going to fall back onto the middle anyway and try to kill that Seer Council. Okay. One zone throat made it. They're not casting any power, so it's really just going to come down yep. to the shooting. Indeed. And I guess they could charge because they're cracking. They no, they're Kronos. They're cracking. They're cracking? Okay. So, yep. can, so I can use the charge to get more models on it, mm. which is what I'm really going to try for. What? One Dire Avenger dead. I, I like it. it. Okay. All right. Well, I, I might try to kill some of them to limit the number of objective Nyx holds to get so, my own 15. So right now, I'm on two, functionally. Mm -hmm. This one, we'll, we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stretch out these Zonthropes a little bit. we got to pull out all the stops here if we're going to try to catch up to Mr. Nick. No, no, no. 
Yes, no, no, no. we are. All right, so we're just gonna stretch it out like this so that I could potentially charge Dire Avengers if I need to. Ah, very clever. Oh, and hitting the demonettes while we're at it. All right, <laughs> so I just need to get more. All right, let's uh, have the Exocrine. Trundle on forward. Eh, it looks like he's probably gonna need to move. To No, I can see two of them right now. Ooh, but if I kill two with shooting, then uh, he just doesn't get a double shot, but I think that's a little ambitious anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna have the Exocrine start off. You got it. Let's do it. Fours be with me. Fours be with me. So we're rolling ones. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be four hits. That'll be one Whoa. in vol. Oh my goodness. Not what we need. We're gonna me. try it again. Rerolling ones. Five hits. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh. Four invulns. That'll be a guy and a half. So far, as the most casualties I can take before I feel all right about this. So all righty. About it. All right. We've got five hive guard. How many mm -hmm. dire avengers are left there? Uh, we got well, three of four avengers on the objective. Four the dire avengers. Two, and he's got wounds. two wounds. Oh my goodness. All righty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is going to be tight. Mm -hmm. This is going to be tight. Can I kill this one seer council and then wipe out the Dire Avengers with the Hive Guard? That's going to come down to the wire. It's going to come down to the wire. You know what, folks? I think we got to give it a try. Yeah. I think we got to give it a try. We're going to put two shots into the seer council and eight shots into. There's only five, five Hive Guard. What's that? There's yeah. One. Yeah. So, so two shots there and eight, eight shots yeah, there. Yeah. 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 There's, there's four models left, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, he's getting greedy. Well, I think I think I have to because if I if you hold more than me, I'll only get a ten. Okay. And then I won't get my domination, so I'll lose to you by two points. That sounds good we to me. We cannot let that happen. Yeah, we can. Into them, rerolling ones. Okay. All right. Six hits. I got five wounds. I got six upsets from this. We'll use a command point. Command point. A reroll on the wound. Five wounds. Five. Five. Six up for these Avengers. We make Fails four. Four, so uh, the Exarch is what matters. Yep, Exarch D three damage. Kills him. Oh, just enough. All right, can we finish off the one, the lonely Seer Councilman? Two, Two hits. hits. Two, Two wounds. wounds. Double Defense. fours. Double fours. All right, the zone throps have to do it. The zone throps charge. The They're zone throps charge. charge for the win. They've got or to the do loss. it. I 11 inches there. They're doing it with gusto. They're excited. We need the gimbal for this. This is the final moment. Oh my oh goodness. My Can I kill a one What's wound happening? seer council in combat? And not lose his own throw. And not lose his own throw. Well, no you're not going to kill his own throw. No, no CP involved. All right. All right. This can happen. I believe in miracles. The zone throps are going to pull it out. I'm doing big dice, big numbers all day here. One, one hit. hit. Think they're weapon skill four. Oh, they are. One wound. <sighs> No re-rolls. Four! We stick the lands in! Oh, four. that's stabbing zone throw! No chance. Stabbing! Not that well, but that's okay. Stabbing! Two wounds! Alright. All right. We do make Fails one. one. Let me get the three damage here and a zone throw ties oh, just to link goodness. it up even harder. Just enough. Alright. I think that is the most I can do. So you're gonna miss the right to self domination and only score yep. five at the end. I was one Seer Council away. He swung for the fences and he fell one wound shot. Oh well, my goodness. A little bit more because his zone throw died. But I still. thought maybe the one who died is what killed me. Maybe. Maybe. Probably was. Maybe. Ooh. Well, it's a good thing I don't have to call you the exterminator because you managed to take down the bugs. I'll still. Take the win. Good game, Good game Nick. Mr. All right. Wow, what a close one. This was super fun. Yeah, very back absolutely. Play. Very Eldar back and Nids always the very end. Games. Yeah. All right. How did you feel about your Nidlis, the clown mode rule? Uh, it was pretty cool. You know what? I do like the zone throps. I, I don't think that they're worth it for 250 points. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I wanted more gaunts and more bodies. Yeah. And I also wanted to have more threats to overload you with. Mm -hmm. um, I love the hive guard. Love the hive tyrant. Um, I, I, it wasn't certainly wasn't a bad list. I think I would have just trimmed some of the extra units and put it into more of the efficient stuff that I like. Just, yeah. You know, kind of back to my original version, of course, but I did like the zone throps. They ended up being pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Yep. I really liked my army. I think mm -hmm. the, the Seer Council is one I haven't really played with in a while. I definitely mismanaged my CP early because I figured I had like nine. I'm like, I don't have strats. <laughs> don't ever get that way. I know no. not to get that way, but whatever. So <laughs> we made it work. We made it work. Um, yep. I really like the council. It's just tough. It Absolutely. exists. The Wraith Seers, Didn't they quite died them off. a little bit earlier than I would have liked, but yeah. they still did. This wasn't the match for them against Hiveguard. It's like a terrible mm -hmm. thing to fight against. Um, was Hiveguard all the champions. MSU nonsense I had, yeah. I loved that. And the Vipers. Oh, oh my what, god. What about the, the one wound Farseer? 
the one, the, the there's a one moon farseer, he's a champion. The spirit steer, like that, he blew up the flyer. There were so many moments. My army yeah. is beautiful. I'm Absolutely. It was really fun to see. And, and the Vipers. And the Vipers, of course. Gotta, gotta I mean, the, the Execrine. The Execrine. died to a Even Viper. the Warwalkers, who just completely sucked against the Hive Guard, they still got one. And that's the difference of that Spirit Council living It could dying. be. It could be. And that's, you know, the army played beautifully. Very All right. happy. Awesome. Do we have any questions in the chat? We've got a $5 super chat from Clown Mode himself. <laughs> was the su super sub for this. Thanks for the game. Is there any sauce to these list concepts, or are they destined for Crusade games? Thank you so much, Clown Mode. Hope you enjoyed the match. I really like mine. Mm -hmm. I think you could turn the council into two units of nine Shining Spears, mm -hmm. and you'd have more... Like, as you saw, like my council got tied up, and they couldn't fall back and cast. CP became a real problem for me, so I couldn't fall back, yes. shoot, and charge. Having two functional units for the cost of one, I think, would be better. But other than that, I really like the way the list plays. The six units Avengers just felt like I always had stuff running around everywhere. Yep. Clear in the chat, so I never had to commit anything. The War Walkers, the Vipers. Oh, the Vipers. It was, it was so good. I love the army. I think Eldar has really come a long way throughout mm -hmm. Ninth Edition. It's their people time to figure out their place in the meta, but I think they're starting to, and it's really coming together. Absolutely. I still love the Tyranids. They're just super fun. They've got so many options, so many cool strats, so many big bugs and big brain plays. I love this. Uh, I still, I think Tyranids are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think they're in a good spot. Um, obviously, I love my double D McCarran build, but you know what? The zone throws actually uh, ended up being pretty useful. Yeah, I liked it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and we will see you next time or in the war room right after this Ooh. to check out Mr. John's Slanish Demons versus Sieg's Imperial Soup. All right.